A. A. Test. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Ah. Ah. Test. Ah, 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 ah. I assume you guys can hear me. Ah! Hello, gamers. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever freaking time it is for you. Hello, you guys. Let me stop the music. Let me turn on this music. God damn. It's, it's so loud, dude, on my end. I think it's normal. I think it might be quiet for you guys, but it's so loud for me. Like, holy shit. But hello, gamers! Is it September? It's still it's still August. <laughs> it's still August where I'm at. Ramen, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that, gamer. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna tie you out. You're getting on my nerves, guys. Uh, heads up! Don't tell me uh, what to post or where certain video content is. I'll make what I want to make, and I actively avoid avoid making content that I don't want to make. So. If I'm gonna make a Nikkei video, I'll make a Nikkei video. Don't bug me for one, because that'll make me not want to make one. But just saying. It'll be your birthday month in a few hours. That's very true. It is almost my birthday. All right, gamers. Today. Today's gonna be a big lore day. I, I switched um, I switched teams. I missed I missed her. I missed having her on my team. I missed I missed my Sealy Nuke team. I I've been it's been the game's been too easy with Kafka, with E6 Kafka. I, I, I missed her. I missed her. I'm not gonna lie. But you guys, look. I figured out that you can name your teams. So this is called... This is called Bronzeely. And then... And then this... Is called Free to Play Kafka. <laughs> always my turn. Oh, I should. Oh, wait. I should call Always Sealy's turn. Ahem. Always... No! Why is there why is there a word limit? Because I was gonna make it look like this. I was I was I was gonna make it say this, and the fact that it's not letting me do this, I'm already guys. I just started and I'm already upset. <laughs> I wanted to make it. I got rate limited, bro. I literally got rate limited. Uh, I'm just doing it, bronze Sealy. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. We also have free-to-play Kafka team because this is the most free-to-play team on Earth. You guys, there's two four-stars. Do you see that? This team, all five-stars. But there's actual four-stars on this team. Is that not crazy? We're going to ignore the fact that this is an E6 Kafka, though, uh, for that. But, hi, gamers. Um, I, okay. Uh, I want to say, I want to, I want to talk. Um, if I sound sick, I'm sorry. I think I am sick. I, I, I think, I think I'm sick. Uh, so, so yesterday we played chapter, <coughs> we played chapter 25 of, of Honkai Impact, which was, oh my god, I feel like I'm still, like, trying to process what happened, and, and, yeah, it's my, th my throat's feeling a lot better, but, um, uh, after stream yesterday, which, you know, about four and a half hours, my throat was killing me, and, um, I, I was playing Baldur's Gate for a little bit, but I think around 10-ish, like, so kind of early in the evening, uh, I was like falling asleep at my keyboard, so I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna stop gaming for tonight. I got the I got the Shadow Heart sex scene. I was I'm satisfied with my playthrough right now. I could quit the game, and I'm totally good. But at at uh around like 10 p.m., I was like, you know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of really tired. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep, and so I I logged out, and then uh, I went to guys. I went to sleep at like 10:30, 11 ish, and I didn't wake up until like 9 a.m 10 a.m i got a solid like 11 hours of sleep like i uh, nothing i would i did not like i passed out i was i was full full blown i was gone like I, but i woke up feeling a lot better i think i sound more sick right now but i feel better and I don't know if you guys could tell if I sound different or not. I, I hear it in my own voice, but, you know, you always hear yourself a little differently. But um, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I could go back to sleep. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't. I stayed awake nonetheless to play more Baldur's Gate and make some thumbnails. 
uh, a slightly different. Yeah, I think I just sound like a little congested, but I don't like, I don't know. I feel like it's fine. Uh, my throat's feeling a lot better though, but I also did take a concerning amount of cough drops yesterday. At least 20. I stopped counting the wrappers, but they're, they're, I took a lot. I have a, I have a bowl. I also have like the Costco sized, um, I have, I have the Costco sized cough drops. I don't know where, actually, I know exactly where this came from. So my mom's a teacher and they went back to school and I think she got the germs from the children and then the children, they gave me the germs because my immune system doesn't like, I have a really good immune system for the most part. I only get sick like once a year at most, but uh, I guess I'm no match for kids, bro. Like you know, those kids, those snot nosed brats, another reason to hate children, bro. Punt those kids. Teachers are very likely to get, yeah, I know. Usually my mom deals with it. I'm usually pretty good about it, but apparently this year I, I got I got the, the, the new year's, the new kid, whatever, the sore throat. I hope I'm, I, I hope I, it's all gone because tomorrow I'm actually meeting up with Moogie. We're getting hot pot and that should be really, really, really exciting. But today gamers, we are going to be playing the 1.3 story quest. We're also going to be doing Luca's companion quest. And if we have time, Danny's uh, companion quest as well. Is it Moogie in West Coast? She's coming. She, she came to East Coast again. <laughs> She's visiting. So uh, we're going to get hot pot on, uh, on Friday, which Friday is tomorrow. So we're getting, we're getting hot pot tomorrow. I'm also going to help out with some Moogie Mart stuff. But uh, my, my payment is hot pot. <laughs> I'm getting paid in hot pot. <laughs> Uh, hot pot is usually no, not the greatest for sore throats because of all that oil. No, I don't get oily hot pot. I, I get nice, good vegetable broth, and then I get meat, meat and vegetables. And by vegetables, I it's cabbage and bok choy. Guys, it's like all I eat. Literally, literally, all I eat at hot pot is is like the sliced beef, cabbage, Napa cabbage and regular cabbage. I love cabbage, and then and then like bok choy and spinach, and like maybe broccoli. I touch nothing else like oh bean sprouts and like and like rice like, like rice cakes or whatever But like goddamn bro. Oh my god. That's that's like all that's like all I eat. I love vegetables I'm a, I'm a veggie girl. I'm a veggie girl in a veggie world Life is vegetables My poops are healthy But anyways anyways, that's the plan for today Um, Do I have anything else to talk to you guys chapter 25? That hurt. That hurt. It was a sad chapter. It was, it was a bittersweet chapter. Because, like, yeah, technically, we won. But also, technically, I refuse to admit that, that Himeko's dead. And, and so, and so thus, it's kind of sad. But playing it through made me miss Seely as, like, a character. Because, like, I don't know. I think we've been using Kafka too much. I think it made the game a little too easy. And I kind of missed hearing, Disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past i kind of missed hearing that every four seconds so so i, I think we're gonna we're, we're switching off to sealy team today although if we do simulated universe i'll probably switch the kafka team just to finish it faster but yeah. may all that beauty be blessed Ugh. you're glad that she's in luca's story wow the spoiler uh, switcheroos once in the wild is good. Yeah, of course. I can't wait uh, for whenever Seelie gets a rerun. You guys, am I gonna see? Am I gonna e six? I keep saying c six, bro. Like, what? I don't even play Genshin that much anymore. Um, am I gonna e six Seelie? Am I gonna do that, you guys? So you're not playing? No, no, I still am. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> guys, when I said I was gonna quit playing <laughs> Honkai Effect, I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the game. <laughs> That was a joke. It was a joke. I'm gonna finish. <laughs> E4 at least. Waiting for the day that Silverwolf gets her own Celia. Oh my god, I hope she gets a Veliona. And ruin your free to play Celia account or your free to play account? I think not. I'm sending a thousand dollars for Celia like Kafka. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. If let's say theoretically we get a Celia rerun soon, soonish, uh, hopefully. Um, I can just say it's a birthday present to myself from myself and then and then it's all good And then everything gets absolved because I, it was a birthday present from me to me Or I'll make it a goal on my birthday and be like hey if we hit this goal we'll 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 e6 seal it It's just that easy So we can always do that e1 sila and e6 yanqing actually 
So you guys, earlier today, I posted the VOD. I'm a little behind on the VOD schedule for postings, but uh, I posted the uh, when I 30 starred Memory of Chaos. And, um, <laughs> and someone commented, and that's when I got another Yanqing light cone, by the way. And someone commented, wait, you don't have an E6 Yanqing? I could have swore you did. No, no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I just want to put it out there. No, I don't have an E6 Yanqing, okay? It feels like it because he's always showing up on my account. But I don't. He's E3 S2, okay? <laughs> the Mandela effect. No, I think it's actually... Yeah, I, no, I think I've had the reputation as a Yanqing magnet. No, it's because I got him in beta. And then I got him a lot on standard banner. And I've lost two 50-50s to him. And then I've lost two 75-25s to his light cone. I've just been, like, really unlucky. Like, he just keeps showing up. I'm... No, no, don't say my Yanqing. I'm not your Yanqing main. Remember you loved him because he reminded you of Kazuha? Well, I take it back. He doesn't remind me of Kazuha. Uh, I hate him. He followed you from the beginning. This is fate. I don't... Sometimes I don't believe in fate. I think sometimes we should take fate into our own hands and crush the one that is put in front of us and that we should just ignore it because I don't want to be a Yanqing main. I don't want it. I don't want it. You know what I am going to be? A Navia main and get shit impact when she comes out and I'm going to C6, R5 her. It's going to hurt and it's going to be worth it because I have to do anything for my blonde. Italy loving your streams. You discovered your YouTube channel from your video reaction to Celie's trailer, and you've been following since then, and even started playing Hoi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That's very sweet. You like the fate that Celie and Bronya are always together? Yes! They are their fate. Their fate. They have to be together forever. Um, in every universe, they will find each other. Listen, you guys. Listen, listen. I saw I saw a post on the on, on, on X.com, as the kids are calling it nowadays. And, um... It was saying that, like, the fates of the, uh, the Honkai Impact, uh, girly pops are, like, the same in every universe. Where Bro and Seelie will find each other in every universe. And Kiana May are destined to always be apart in every universe. <laughs> I was like, I hope that changes. I hope we get, I hope we get a Kiana May. I, I hope we get Kiana and May in this universe and they can be together. I think that'd be nice. I, I think... I think that'd be really nice if we could get them together in this universe. Waiting for Kiana to show up in Gen uh, here because Genshin has Mei. I'm surprised Kiana's not in Genshin. Like, what? Why is she not in Genshin? I don't understand. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, unknown God. I, I mean, like, I guess like the Void, but that's not Kiana. That's the Void. That's Siren. March will make it happen. Watch this awesome move. I love March 7th. I... You guys, when is March gonna get stabbed? It's her turn. It's her turn. Danny got stabbed. Stell got stabbed. When, when's the next stabbing gonna happen? It's time is ticking. Tick tock, it's stab o'clock. <laughs> we need a senti XP so badly. Well, there, there, there's been lore hints that there is uh, General Hua. Or Commander Hua. And that might, in fact, be the Fuhua XP that everybody's waiting for. I would love to see... Marshall, thank you. I don't know terminology in the military. Marshall Hua. Um, I don't know the terminology uh, the, the, for that, but but we might, we, might get, we might get it. When March gets her 5-star version, will you finally uphold your claim at being a March main? I'm a March main in my heart. Okay? In, in actuality, I'm a Sealy main. And a Kafka main. But in my heart, in my heart, if she was anything but preservation, I would probably main her. I just like she's too skill point hungry. And like for meta like and for just like team like teamwork purposes, she doesn't really make a lot of sense to be put into my team comps. But I love her. She's she's kinda built. Hold on. She's like where is she? She's level 60 out of 70. She has her light cone that's level 36. She has kind of leveled up. It's it's fine. Hi, gotta say, love your YouTube. Thank you. Oh my god, so many guys. Can I get a one in chat if you're if you if you if you have discovered me from from YouTube? Okay, listen, she can get relics. Wow. Wow, she has relics. Look at that. You guys can't say shit anymore. There's relics. 
And just stay right there while I give you a present. I love March. Listen, I hit recommend gear, okay? Whatever happens afterward happens. So many ones. Oh, I, I guess I didn't really give you guys a two option. If you're not from YouTube, you can press two. <laughs> if you're not from YouTube, you can hit two. But if you're from YouTube, you can press one. You discovered me from YouTube yesterday. Oh, shit. Welcome. Welcome in. Chavala, thank you so much for the Prime Sub Gamer. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. I appreciate that. Okay, if you're from YouTube, gamers. What's her E? She's E6. Um, I lied. She's E4. <laughs> I thought she was E6. <laughs> the way I just confidently lied. The way I confidently lied to your faces, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a liar. Um, I was going to ask, if you are from YouTube, what is your favorite video on my channel? Or like, what's like your first video? I, I doubt they're the one in the same. Not even remembering how many I I just I don't know why I thought she was E six. Most of my my four stars are E six. Build pity and E six march on this banner. Uh, no, because let me tell you this: the moment I t I touch Daniel's banner, I'm going to get him because I don't want him, and it's going to happen the moment I press him. Uh, Genshin smash and pass on Mama Rachel's HSR. What your main says about you. The one with your mom. Azura Lane eye tracker. Bro, the Azura Lane video got yeeted into the void because of the monetization. <laughs> the dramatic pull video where you pulled two Yan Chings. Uh, Jingen animation reaction. God damn. Imagine discovering Mina through Uwu Rap. I'm going to unlist Uwu Rap at some point in time. It's just going to be gone before you guys know it. And then I'll give it back to you as like a reward. Because you guys will forget it exists. Surprising enough, I found you from Twitch algorithm. Hey, yo. Mom reacts Genshin's part one. Kokolia fight. Uh, first was Ollie. Uh, the final lesson. Ah, some, some impactors. I'm surprised you've never made an actual Honkai Impact 3rd video. Oh, there's one. No, there's two. I have two uh, Honkai Impact 3 videos. I, it's weird because I stream it on YouTube. I feel weird like making content. Like Usually when I when I put like my reaction stuff on YouTube, it's from Twitch. So I feel like they're two different platforms, so it's fine. But um, with, with Honkai Impact, because it's just on the main channel already, just like under the live section, like I, I don't feel the need to um to re-upload it as like a standalone like oh like reacting to like flame Sion, or, or like reacting to um like the final lesson like, i don't like i don't like feel the need to do that since the vod is like fully up there and like th th there's timestamps that you could just go to if you want to watch that portion i do um actually very soon i want to i want to have i don't know if i'll do it as a video or if um I'll do it as a uh, a stream. I want to watch all of the, uh, the the animations from chapter like one to twenty five, and I do like a proper like live react to all of them in order. Now that I actually understand what's going on in the story, and then, then we're also gonna do the Honkai Impact uh, first concert next week as well. So we're gonna be doing that. So a lot of a lot of content coming up uh, for Honkai Impact the concert. Yeah, the Honkai Impact third concert, the first one. We're going to be doing that uh, next week because I need a week to uh, recover uh, from chapter 25 from how like emotional it was. Oh, I look at just staring at March's eyeball. Guys, I've been trying to get like the perfect uh, relic for Seelie for this piece. Like this one's like okay, but it could just be so much better. And I'm just having a really hard time like finding that perfect piece for her. Like this one, it's not perfect by like it's just I want like the I want the perfect piece. Like, this has a chance. I just hate that it wouldn't affect hit rate. And I hate that there's a flat defense there. I just, like, I want the perfect piece. You're in the waiting room for the second concert after chapter 28. I think we're going to do second concert after chapter 31. I was told that chapter 31 is the better one to do. Actually, this isn't a bad relic. I just need, I want crit, I don't want to lose on crit rate. God, it's so hard here. It's so hard here, you guys, to find the perfect relic. Let me do my dailies while I'm just talking so we'll have time to do stuff. Uh, let's do dailies. Let's do dailies. Uh, okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Why were my notice off? Because Twitch is evil. 
I think Twitch, like, literally after every stream, auto removes, like, like 0.1% of subs or of notifications. HSR humbles you so much with relics. HSR humbles me with everything. I me. breathe and I get humbled in this game. You don't understand. Like, like dead ass, dead ass. I, I breathe. I'm like, oh, look, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a, a, a 10 pull. And then it's always Yanching. Always, always. I, I, it's never anyone else. It's never like, oh, here's, here's a Bronya. Here's Bronya's light cone. Or here's, here's another, here's E2 Bronya. It's never that. It's always like, here's another Yanching. Oh, and that's, uh, you can have his light cone too while you're at it. Like, do I want Go it? Do I, do I want it? Or no, or, or, or it's like, oh, here's Himeko's light cone. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with my level 40 Himeko? <laughs> Making a point? No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. You, sir, where's my SAT questions? And I also don't have Jeppy. The way I don't have Jepard, I have everyone else except for Jeppy. He does not come home. Level her maybe? No. I don't have a team for her. I also don't want to waste resources on a character I'm not going to use. Listen, man. It's hard to build characters, all right? You guys understand. It's hard out here to build characters. Do you want to build? Oh, God. Wait, hold on. Math. What? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I, um, well, I, uh, um, well, uh, why is it six? Why would it be six? Holes? One, two, three, four. Oh. That's so stupid. You have Japard's light come without Japard. Oh, same. Uh, yeah. Where is she? Yeah. Same. I also. All right, let me go back to homeboy. Come around and have a look. But that it's that, was it really holes? I feel like before I would always just guess and it just worked. God, I hate SAT questions. I hate SAT questions so much. I never even took the SATs. And there it goes. I took the ACTs. Do you guys ever take that? You've been pre-farming links. Oh, I should probably do that. I should probably pre-farm for Fu Xuan. But we don't know what she needs. Bro, like, does she need... Is she gonna be Quantum set or is she gonna be, like, a defense set? I don't know. So I don't know what to build for her. How'd you score? I think I did okay. I actually don't remember. It was so long ago. It was so freaking long ago, my man. Like, I'm old. Okay, preservation. We'll do preservation stuff because uh, for Fu Xuan, she is pe she's preservation. We'll do this. You feel stupid when it comes to logic questions? Just watch <laughs> me take Hokai Impact that. 3 quizzes <laughs> and you'll understand how <laughs> SAT logic works. Remember my HD counselor telling me you could score better? <laughs> you have an like, Asian genes. I was basically like, nah fam, I'm good. Cool. Well, the thing is for me, um, to guard and I really didn't Great need step. to take the ACTs or SATs because my plan was like, I, I live next to a community college, so I went to community college for two years, and um, my community college had a uh, had a program that you could pretty much transfer to any other university in the same state, and like you know, like pretty much instantly after those two years. So I did all my general ed courses over at like community college just to save money. And then, um, you know, two years later, I, I transferred over Lend to the Big Boy strength. University, and then I got my degree. But, uh, I really, you don't really need, like, SATs or ACTs to go to community college. But, I don't know, it was a cheaper route. Still got a shit ton of student loans, but it's less. Illusions of the past. Story Fest passes tomorrow, yeah. Well, it's harder, I think, when you're in, um, high school. 
there's kind of like a weird stigma against people who do choose to go to community college. And I don't think there should be for people being financially like to guard and defend. conscious. Like if you have parents that can afford it, like good for you. But like if not, like, or even if they can, like there's nothing wrong with with saving some money, you know. When you're gonna end up in the same exact place at the end of it. And I have an associate and a, like a bachelor, so like it's different. Yeah, it's still education, but kids are mean. Illusions of the past. Illusions of the past. Yes, education is education. Yeah, first two years are literally nothing. That's what I did on my gen ed courses uh, at community. There's me not going to college and unga boonga your way up. Listen, man, life experience is valuable. Listen, you guys, life is short. Just do what you want. Depends on the major, you did that too, but your major was engineering, so you had two years of just engineering. But ew. See, that's why you pick a you pick a you pick an easy major <laughs> where you don't have to deal with that. Okay. We did that, and then we just take one photo, and then we did our dailies. Wow, so good, so easy. I think we're gonna do. I mean, to pick the hardest major. I don't think I. Okay, it wasn't an easy major. <laughs> well, okay. I was a forensic science major, which, um, it sounds cool on paper. Be like, ooh, FBI stuff. That's so awesome. But in reality, it was a lot more of a um, pre-med with like three criminal justice classes sprinkled in. And I had to go to like Orgo 2, I had to go to like Calc 2, I had to like take every single science class, like I had to take physics, I had to take, I had to take everything, every science class imaginable I had to take. And I was like, listen, if I knew this before I took it, I never would have picked this major, like this is why is this so much work? Like if I wanted to apply to med school right now, I probably could just by my credentials. <laughs> but God, I, oh, never, never, dude, oh my God. I had to take like advanced anatomy one and two and like, oh my God. Oh, you gotta know a lot of stuff to investigate. Yeah, I know, but like, come on, man. Mina's degree was to prepare herself for a career of being a Danganronpa streamer. You are 100% correct. And the fact that we're finishing Danganronpa on Saturday is crazy. You're smart. Um, I, I don't think I'm dumb. But I don't think I'm the smartest person around, and I, like, I'm okay with admitting that. But um, I think school smart and, and street smart are very different things. And I did pretty okay in school, but I didn't do okay in like high school. Because I didn't want to. I was like, listen, man, why, why should I try hard uh, in high school when I know it doesn't matter? And then I'll, I'll actually put in my efforts when I need to. And like I'm, I'm like a, I'm, I'm like I'm like a preservation kind of person. Only put in the amount of effort, like you know, in it, it's smart bursts, so I don't burn myself out. I've I've always been pretty conscious about that. But um, like smarts wise, like I don't I don't think I'm I don't think I'm dumb. But like obviously basic math gets me sometimes. But like I don't know, I'm a good listener. Wanna spar? Literally eating chat even with gambling. Listen, I would never actually gamble. Because, because guys, listen, listen, listen. I know myself. I think knowing yourself is the most important thing on earth. Because guys, 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 life advice here, right here, okay? I know myself. If I ever go to a casino, I'm screwed. So you know how I combat that? I'm never going. I'm never going. I don't want to gamble. I never want to actually gamble. Like I'm never going to gamble with real money because I know myself. I'm going to see pretty lights. I'm gonna see like the prettiest lights and I'm gonna be like one more won't hurt. One more can't hurt. And so thus, I stay away. But I think it's different with it when it's anime girls that you're gambling with. Because at the end of the day, there's a hard limit to what you're allowed to go to. So like, guys, listen, listen. I got E6 Kafka, yes. But you can't get anything more than that. So really, the only amount that you're able to lose is like $1,000. But when you're gambling with real money, the only thing you could lose is your life. I never gamble with real money. <laughs> Most honest Navi of me. <laughs> E7 to show your love. She's not even on the banner anymore. But I'm just saying, I know myself. I know that I don't like um, 
not being in control of my own body so i don't drink and i don't like do drugs just because i don't like that feeling and i don't want to i don't want that to, i guess to like it so i don't do it know yourself who is navi and what game is she from she is from actually she's from this game i've decided uh from this moment on navia is actually from honkai star rail look at that gamers she is actually from honkai star rail we have a secret a secret fifth member ha not even been announced yet she's gonna be on on a secret Bye. world it's gonna be french based and and yeah congratulations navia is now in honkai star rail um i'm gonna be her voice actress too <laughs> Totally, totally legit. N never, um, oh shit. Wait, my NDA. Hoyo's gonna come after me for this. <laughs> She's turned to the side. So mysterious. A whole French planet. That's rough. I know. Guys, you, you land on the planet and all you hear is ho, 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 ho. Baguette. Ho, 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 ho. Croissant. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. A chef blazer. <laughs> Himiko sees the planet and she's like, all right, we're going back. <laughs> we're not staying here. Can't wait till we get a Durandal in uh, Honkai Star Rail. I watch you spend a stupid amount of money on her. God. I See, I want to deny you. I want to deny I want to deny the truth that I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a Durandal uh, XP in Honkai Star Rail. But I would 100% E6. Dur if Durandal showed up, I would. She's she's mine. That's that's my character. Like I I have to, I have to. Uh, Duke, thank you so much for the prime sub gamer. Thank you. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so freaking much for using it on me. Thank you. I appreciate that, gamers. All right, let us do. Um, I'm gonna do a simulated universe run first, because I haven't done one yet this week, and I think we should do it. What world should I do? Should I do seven? What would what would Fushman benefit from, you guys? I don't think she'd benefit from this. Would she benefit from this? What is this? This crit rate, defense, world three. Fushman, fleet of agent. Is she? Do we do we know yet if she's HP or defense scaling yet? Cause wouldn't those be different? You love inner Salsado. Which one's that? The only one I know is this one. Space stealing station. Is she HP scaling? Fleet of the Ageless is good. Bro, you know how many times I've done World 3? You would do seven. World seven for Danny. I don't have Danny. Flea or Broken Keel is good. Either world. Okay, I kind of want to do. I kind of want to do seven. Just because we could potentially get a really good rope for Sealy while we're at it. And then, like, we could get some Locha pieces with Effect Res. Yeah, Effect Res would be good too. Came to me in a dream that she wants effect res. Okay. Wow. I love your guys' dreams. Okay. We're probably going to go Nihility run just because Nihility's kind of cracked. Nihility's kind of broken. Um, Should I actually replace Pela with MC? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put MC. Okay. All right. You always go nil for us uh, without locha. What do you mean without locha? Oh, I get what you mean. Ah, uh, it's too late now. Whatever. I'll get I'll get Pela on on the on a on a thingy, my Bobby. Come here. I done goofed. I forgot how to play the game, you guys. I've Time never gone life. Remembrance. Ooh. I've no, that's a lie. I think I've gone Remembrance like once. To I'm my sorry, customers. I keep lying to you guys today. Oh, oh my god, gamers. Thank well, this is playing on auto because that's what we love to do. And <laughs> Navia dot. <laughs> um, 
Honestly, guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. I can give it a Navia for this. Um. So Baldur's Gate 3. I, you guys, I have been giggling over Shadowheart. I got to the end of her story quest. Or like her companion quest or whatever it's called. Why is it only haunt now that I went Nihility? Why is it... Why? Why am I now getting hunt art or hunt hunt whatever the blessings now that I'm going to Hillity? I when I go when I go hunt I, 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 I when I go hunt I never see a hunt ever. Let her up. It's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. It's Ooh, we're fine. We're fine. It's good. We're good. It's not like I would even psh, would want Nihility. Her just trolling. Yeah, her just her just trolling me right now. May as well kill them all. Time to say. It's because I keep making her to these nuts jokes Ooh. that she keeps coming at me, bro. The high chance of getting Nihility was a lie. They lied more than I lie, bro. What they saying? Okay. Baldur's Gate 3, you guys. Literally, literally, I got to the end of, of Shadow Hearts arc. And you guys, you guys. She took me to the beach. She took me to the beach. And she was like, take off your clothes. And I was like, uh, you first. Because I was choosing the flirty options. And then she's like, okay, turn around. And then, and then, and then, and then I made my guy turn around. And then, and then she started taking off her clothes. I went the light route. I wanted her to be happy, so I took the light route. And then, and then, and then, and then she's like, oh, I'm a little offended that you haven't, like, tried to peek. And so then I made my guy peek because, like, you know, like, you like, we gotta do what you gotta do. And then she threw her underwear at me. And then, and then, and then, and then they went swimming together and it was really cute. And then they, and then they did it. They did it on the beach. And then after the fact, after, it was really sweet and romantic and genuinely I was dying. Like, it was just really cute. Like, it was genuinely, like, I felt the love between our characters like our characters are in love i was telling i guess telling like, the people i was playing with i was like you guys i if i play another character and and i and and i and i, and I decide to romance Shadowheart again because obviously i can't romance anyone else that's cheating but i was like but wait if i make a new character and i romance Shadowheart, then then she's gonna be cheating on me but then if i remake the same exact character then she forgot about me I can't win in this situation. It's either I cheat, she cheats, or she forgets about me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I can't romance anyone else. Like I can't, you guys. It was so sweet. Like it was so sweet. Aren't you a multi shipper? Okay, but it's different. It's different. They're in love. Okay, they're they're in love. Like, oh my god, she was she was like after after the fact, like you're just talking to her and she was like, you know, like I she was like talking about like what she wanted to do in the future, and then and then and then she's like, oh like I want to like you know go out like maybe to like the rural area and then like, get animals and like and like and like you know like have a garden and she's like of course like you'd be there too if you want to be and like we could be together like you know until we grow old and I was like. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I'm so parasocial about- I'm so parasocial about Shadowheart. Hello, is there nothing- Like, I- I- I'm- uh, Hello? Oh. Did they change it? Yeah, no, Baldur's Gate, it- Guys, it- It, it is just- Like, literally, literally. It is a romance simulator game that forces me to like play plot randomly. I'm like, why is there why is there action in my romance game? All I want is is romance in this game. Like every every time I log into the game, I have to give her a kiss. Like I, I log in, I make I make my guy, I make him I make him give her a kiss, and then and then we can start the rest of the game. And then and then <laughs> guys, I'm so parasocial. No, but it was just such a sweet scene. I can't show you guys the YouTube because there's boobies in it and that time that get me banned. Goodbye. But yeah. Do you have do I have a favorite dating sim? The thing with me and dating sims is <laughs> So you guys listen. Listen. I get I, I'm too loyal to my favorite. So like 
for me to play a dating sim, it's not truly worth it. Because I'm just like, well, I like my one person and I don't want to play anyone else. So I only play one route. And like, that's it. Well, DDLC is not a dating sim. They all die. Oh, unless you get the good end. But, but like, I just like one character. You have the perfect excuse. No, I've actually played Tears of Themis before. Um, I was really into it for a while, but then, but then, I started to get really annoyed because Rosa, Rosa was talking to the other guys and not just Luke, who was objectively the best one. And so I'm like, Rosa, why are you even, why are you even humoring the other, the other three guys when Luke is right there being perfect and ready for you and, and you're out there and you're out there being a harlot with the other boys? You can't do that to my boy. I don't know. See, I don't like harems. I'm a multi-shipper, but I don't like harems. And the thing is, I'm only ever a multi-shipper about, like, <laughs> about my favorite character. <laughs> but like, it's different when I have to be the one to play the character. So like, when it's like a dating sim or it's um, like, where like, I'm like in like the POV shot of it, it's different. <laughs> But um, if it's like two characters on the screen, so like let's say Stella and March, I ship Stella and March. But I'm okay with seeing like March and Dan. I'm okay with seeing like Stella and Kafka. I'm okay with seeing other ships. Like I'm fine with that, no problem whatsoever. But when it's like I'm playing the character, I don't want them to. I don't want them to. I don't want them what to be. I don't want them to. I don't, I don't want more people. I just want one. You know? You guys get it? You guys get it, right? Right? Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Kind of, absolutely. I'm on, guard. I'm on guard. Yeah, die, bitch. Oh shit, I moved my model instead. All right, I get really, I get really invested in my Just dating sims. Fun. Relax, relax. You're fine with other ships, but you have a main ship. Yes. Oh my god. Y yes. I okay. But the thing is, it doesn't work for every ship because all ships were not created. Ships were not created equally. Broncelli, I do not ship them with anyone else but each other. But like, there's other ships. I'm I'm very happy with with multiple different like outcomes for the ships. But there's some ships that are just like they're too exclusive to one another that I just I can't imagine them with other people. But this one, Celi. Okay, okay, that's different though. That okay. Seely, Seely, and Veliona, I do ship. I, I do like them. I, I, I do, I do. I actually kind of like that more than Bron Seely. But, th but it's different. It's different. But okay, with, uh, with Kia May, I can understand why people would multi-ship Kiana with other people. Because I think Kiana has a lot of Riz naturally. So I can understand, like, Kiana Fuhua. I understand that. Um... With May, I haven't really, I don't really ship her with anyone else. I, I pretty much only ship May with Kiana, but I, I think Kiana deserves a hoe era, so she's allowed to go be, be with other people. Seely has two hands, one for Seely, the other one for Bonia. I think Kiana has natural risk. She does. Uh, which one of these is the best one? I'm gonna go with the middle. Hopefully, we get all of them by the end of this run. I don't know. I know the popular May ship that's coming this. up, and I'm gonna say it from now. I don't ship it. So, um, Does that hurt? I I don't. There. I know that there's a popular May ship that is just in time. That 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 exists. I'm personally not a not a shipper of it. Um, I I think May should only be with Kiana personally. I I understand though if other people ship it. it it's just not for me. Uh, May and Alicia. I've seen a lot of art of them. I, I don't ship it, though. I like Alicia with Eden. Time to say bye. You say, no, I'm saying for a while. I No, I know myself, and I know my shipping. I know what I like in a ship, and I don't think I would like those two as a ship. Ellie Eden is very good. Yeah, I've seen some stuff about them. I like them. But yeah, listen, these are just my personal uh, takes on ships. You guys are more than welcome to have your own takes on ships. I won't try to convince you. You don't try to convince me and we live in harmony.
I don't like harems, so I don't care if she's a harem pro tag. I will just simply ignore that. I don't need the extra Eidolon because Kafka's E6, baby. Ooh, three of them. Let's go. If only Locha scaled off of imaginary damage. Defense. Defense. Love to see it. Your favorite ship is the USS Midway. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, that's so stupid. Uh, let me replace Locha with Pela. All right. Hoyo's back at defense again, as always. If there was one thing in life, it is that I will never get my preferred path on the first go. And then, um, and then, uh, defense. I am, I am the, uh, the Eon of preservation. I am the Archon of defense. I am the Hersher of weapons. The, I have, I have many titles throughout my tenure as a Hoyoverse content creator. I don't know what I'm going to become when ZZZ comes out, but it's going to be something. For a good old counter attack. Time to say bye. No, 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 no. I'm not a whale. I don't know where you got the idea that I was a whale, but I'm not. Mind you, know your place. I am, I am, I am free to play. Where is the nihility? Where, where? Okay, Kafka has a follow up attack, I guess, but look. Where's my nihility, bro? Forced to pay? No, 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 no. I'm free to play. You'll get Ruan May, don't worry. If I get Ruan May this run, when I'm not running the hunt, I'm gonna laugh so hard. I've never gotten Ruan May. She hates me. I call Cap on free to play. What do you mean? I'm free to play. What would make you think I'm not free to play? Time to say bye. They weren't my $1,000. It wasn't my $1,000. I'm free to play. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a Nicole simp for ZZZ. I love Nicole. I think she's really cute. No nihility. I know. Commencing support. The amount of times your game has crashed makes me suspect you're not free to play. Um, Listen, those are uh, bug issues that Hoyoverse really needs to fix. Is this sustainable without a corpo job? You guys treat me very well. Stand still. Remember, watch my videos with no ad blocker, please. But don't worry, don't worry. I would never spend more than I than I don't have. So, or more than I have. So, I am responsible. I know, I know. It seems like haha, she's spending recklessly. I everything is calculated. I have budgets put in place for where I'm allowed to go and where I'm not allowed to go. Fret not. I am an adult. I I understand how to spend money. Just, I, I feel like we need that disclaimer out there. It, it, it seems haha -ha funny, but don't worry. I, 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 I prepare my finances. <laughs> I mean, as an adult, immersion ruined. Bro, I'm older than most of you guys. What do you mean? I'm telling you, you guys, you guys, listen. You all just think I'm younger because I sound happy. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Old people sound old because they're they don't sound happy. But we because I, I actually fight. sound like I smile, people just assume I'm a lot younger than I actually am. I am I am an aunt. I am an aunt of three nieces and nephews. So I guess you guys can call me Auntie Mina if you want. You do not expect emotional damage today. <laughs> no, I'm not a grandma. Time to make a decision. Who's the uncle? My brother? Uh, okay, we have to beat this this one in uh, however many. Relax. Relax. Oh, gosh, she's so cool. Um, Lance. Could... Blaze. Lance. Forward. 
Stand still. Stand what are you still. For? To betray my customers. I charge All right, extra. we do this. Oh my God! 160k just in, just from nihility stuff. Bro. Bro. You want a five star for Christmas? No. You're not allowed. You're not getting anything for Christmas. You've been bad. You don't deserve a Christmas present. Chat, you think you guys are well behaved? You think you guys deserve you you think you think you deserve anything? Huh punks? God, I hate this game. Where's my nihility? Don't 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 put crying emotes. Don't don't act surprised. Okay, chat. If you can if you can come up with a convincing enough I argument why you've been why you've behaved this year. You'll still get nothing, but I can consider it. They got you an E6 Kafka. They deserve something. Watching me play with my E6 Kafka is a present enough. Just in time. Enemy targets detected. No bullet preservation. I forgot to click it. Relax. More business, eh? More business, eh? Lance of the ready. Lance. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Okay. Enemy data secure. All right, let's see how much damage we can do to this boy with Kafka's ult. What are you waiting for? To betray Such a me not. Hell yeah, brother. Good times. Never lost. <laughs> Mina, you don't deserve nice things. Also, Mina, why aren't I getting nice things? Yeah, Time I didn't say I, I. I said you guys don't deserve nice things. Not that I don't deserve nice things. Oh my god! Here stands the silver main god. Wait. Oh shit. Oh shit. Owie. Bro, stop countering, you little shit. Yeah, I keep I keep attacking. <laughs> I just keep attacking him, bro. Hey, let's gonna die. I'm on guard. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Stand still. Ah, sucker. Bro, he's so annoying. I love you, Hentai. Thank you so much for waiting. 2005. 5, 000, whoa, I'm not used to the number change. Thank you so much for wasting 5,000 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal waste of space? You are nothing. You are pathetic. You're a literal freaking degenerate. Can you open your mouth right now? Open it nice and wide. Are you ready to go? Ah. Uh, pathetic. Um, have we completed the Trailblaze quest yet or not yet? Not yet. I'm gonna start it once I finish this simulated universe run. Which one's better? Um, enemy takes damage from a DOT. Uh, fits with DOT. Which one's better, guys? Which one's better? Chat. Which one? Nihility or this nihility? Wait, which one? You should use headphones. Yamate. Yeah, you should use headphones. Onichan. The third one? Okay. Thank you. Always use headphones on twitch.tv. <gasps> oh my god, the robe one. Let's go. We're gonna get such a good relic right now, you guys. Watch this. Watch this. Oh shit! Oh, it's defense. I got I got so excited seeing these three, you guys. I got so excited seeing these three. And then I saw the main stat. And then I saw the main... I just got baited so freaking hard. Vermin, thank you for the Prime sub, gamer. I appreciate that. You could have had it all. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, okay. It's one of these. That's not that's the other one.
Why? Why? Just, like, why is it always... Why is it always defense? <laughs> it's always... Today's been like a pure defense day. I'm the Eon of Preservation. I don't want to be the Eon of Preservation. To guard and defend. Well, the preservation. I don't have Jeppy! Where is... I hate it here. 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 Ooh, what's this? Let's exchange gifts? Discard a three star, obtain a three star. I'm gonna go with this one because I think I only have one three star and it's Nihility. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this one because we don't really need crit rate on a... Uh... Are you shitting me? Can I go Remembrance or Preser- Is this a- It's broken? I don't know what it is. Whatever. I guess I'll go that then. Transaction or Encounter? We'll go Transaction. Make a wish! Exchange. All characters lose 20... Oh, for 2 star or 80%. I'm gonna go with 20%. Come on! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I hate this game. All right, thank you. Should have chose the other one. Oh well. They don't look happy to see us. I'm happy to see well, you. I love Stell. I think Stell is like the cutest thing on earth. People get unlucky in SU. I'm always unlucky in SU. Not, not a scratch. Power. Oh yeah. Do we still have the upper? Okay. Oh yeah, buddy. We we'll do some blasty blast action. We're just having fun. We'll do some of that. Enemy data we'll do some of this. We'll do some of that. We do some of that. Phase well, one done. To betray my customers. I charge extra. Good times. Time all right, all right. Watch bye. this, gamers. Watch this. Three hundred k. Let's go. Stand still. Oh yeah, phase two. We'll get the other shits out. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, do that, whatever. We do this. It's so easy. It's so easy, boys. It's so easy. Okay, screw you and your counter, whatever. We're gonna do that in the middle. We're only gonna focus middle. We don't give a shit about anything else. Wait. We're gonna do this again. Wait, stop taking stealth! Girl! Oi! Oi! If only I could use stealth skill! For taunt! But it's fine! Oh, okay, 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 please stop attacking him. We're fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Let's say bye to breathing. Oh wow, they're all full health again. How'd that happen? Commencing support. Stand still. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, sucker. Yeah, sucker. Lance, Lance, Lance power. power. God, I'm so sick of counter counter people, bro. Okay, now I can do her taunts. Oh, baby. 
We're gonna do a little bit of this. Okay, we add all that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. God damn! And then, and then it's got guys. It's gonna die. Five hundred thirty-one k. Five hundred thirty-one k. We're just having fun. It's so. It's just so. It's so easy. Oh, it's over. They died. The combat report will be ready soon. Oh, they all died. Um. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't done yet. Mm. I I wasn't done. I, I I had one more ult to use. I had I had one more ult. God damn it. God damn it. Actually. 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 If Fushuan is HP scaling, this has a chance. I'm free to play. Cut to Can I just get an attack percent roll, please? No, I don't want that. She needs an energy. We don't know that yet. Um, actually. <laughs> oh, that was so easy, bro. Nihility is so broken. All right. Is it now time to play 1.3 story quest? And then we'll play Luca's quest. We'll go claim that. We're gonna go claim that. And we're also gonna go claim this. this is where I get my credits for the month. Hillary trying gets best not to be the same uh, the best path. Oh, someone said they wanted to see my Kafka build. I got you, fam. Do you ever play in Japanese? I like the English voice acting, actually. Um, I uh for this game, I prefer it over the JP dub, but all to their own. Um, especially because I stream, I like listening in English. It, you don't have to focus as much uh, when 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 playing. If you don't have to read the words on the screen, so I like it better. But my Kafka build, uh, thirty-seven hundred attack, one hundred thirty-seven speed. Crit doesn't matter. Uh, effect hit rate forty percent. Uh, break effect 34, that's mid. And then all of these damage type boosts. <laughs> Love that for her. She's so good, Queen. I do have her own light cone. I do have that. Uh, she's fully traced out as well. And she's, uh, she hey, six. But if you want to see a truly great character, what? look at my Sealy. So the 3100 attack, which is kind of mid, if, if you ask me. But the 77.6% crit rate to 163% crit damage ratio is crazy. It's crazy talk, why don't ya? Um, she also has full quantum quantum boost, because we love that. We love her for that. I love my Sila. Uh, she has her own uh, light cone as well. Uh, fully maxed out traces. Uh, E0. This is a relatable character right here. Does she crit? She crits at least 20% of the time. So this is what free to play plus 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 plus. <laughs> no, I'm free to play. 77% equals zero. Shut up. All right. Go to the Xianzhao Luo Fu. Wait, I haven't finished using my... Uh, hold on. Wait, let's go do relic farming first. And then and then I'll do it. Not me just keep stalling. Show Yan Ching. What's in it for me to show you guys my Yanqing, huh? Huh? What's what's in it for me? What what do I get out of showing you my Yanqing? Other than my own mental turmoil, huh? Fingers crossed for a Celia rerun. I hope so as well. I want some cons. We point and laugh. That's not a good enough reason for me. Your favorite character, that is a lie. Interaction with your viewers, you guys type no matter what. Why do you have one reserve energy though? What do you mean? Lend me your strength. What? What do you mean? I don't know why. It's just there. You want some guide for him? Just build him crit damage. Illusions of the past. Overcap shake. Oh, come on! I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what it does. I don't know what the one means. 
I thought it goes up to 24,000. Nothing. Receive divinity. So I don't know how it got to one. The dead return. The dead return. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions, Illusions of, of the past. past. 2400. Yeah, didn't I say that? Lend me your strength. Oh my god, I missed hearing Bronzili interact on my team. Oh my gosh, I missed them. Time for a fun. <laughs> You can't convert it to one normal energy? Oh. Wait, I thought 10 was one normal energy. Yeah, 24,000. That's what I said. 2,400. Crush them! Weren't you gonna abandon Bronya for Mono Quantum? Can you shut up? Um, Bronia will always be there to support her girlfriend, but <laughs> but lend me your strength. Um, I just want to dabble into Mono Quantum, okay? I just want to know what Mono Quantum feels like. But Celia will always have her Bron Celia team, okay? Yeah, she'll be there in spirit. What are you, the cops? What does it matter? The dead and yeah, Silver Wolf will be there. That's basically Bronya. Illusions of the past. And this is double speed. You can use Ching Chua instead. I mean, I could. Am I going to? No. Ching Chua is way too skill point hungry. She just like she takes a lot of skill points. To guard and defend. Crush them. You can't wait to eat the Sealy. Same. Illusions of the past. Wow, I really did miss hearing that ult line every four seconds. Time for a fun. <laughs> Received All I ever hear when I play the other team is like boom. Bloom. I guess he says bloom, which is essentially boom. Lend me your strength. You don't need links with Fushuan, trust? No, but I want Mono Quantum. Among the sea of Illusions, Illusions of the past. past. Ha ha. I love Locha. Locha's so funny. Lend me your strength. I can't believe they're pushing that out of the game, pretty much. This is double speed. Boom, and to betray my customers, I charge extra. Lend me your strength. Sometimes I just want to listen. I feel like because like I've had Celia since the very beginning, it feels wrong when I'm not hearing her ult line just like constantly. Okay. Uh, no. I hate this game. Say bye to breathing. Boom. I love Kafka. You have two accounts for Celia disappear among the sea of butterflies, and the other is just boom. So many good quotable ult lines. I wouldn't say they're good ult lines. I want to say that you hear them so often that they get ingrained in you to the point where you're just getting like... Like Stockholm Syndrome if you don't hear them. Like, I don't... Like, the game feels quieter when I don't hear Celie. Like, I feel like I, 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 I'm with my thoughts too often without Celie. Like, constantly like being up among the butterflies. Disappear among the sea of All you've heard since yesterday is world's the cleansing dragon. Past. Break. Repay. What is what does Danny say? Um, this world <laughs> is but a vision. Break. Double speed. To guard and defend. Crush them. And this is double speed. Help me, Mr. Sparrog. Witness the stars shatter before you. Wait, who says that? Is that Welt? I think Himeko has the worst ult line. <laughs> it's way too long. Watch this awesome move. I love March. The sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, is it sanctuary, not world? Oh. Damn, they should change that. She does trade for the best animation, though. That is, that's true. Nothing made the dead return. 
The dead return! Time for a buzz. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. This butter chicken baked! <laughs> <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Receive divinity. I kind of wish he kept saying that, even like in the preservation form. Illusions of the past. Although I did um hear that we are not getting a, another form just yet of Traveler or Trailblazer. So kind of shocked. Maybe because we didn't get stabbed, but Danny got stabbed. But I guess it also kind of makes sense that they didn't want to give us too many types too early on. Since we did get physical and then we got pyro or fire. You're kind of glad fire tailblazer is still very good. Yeah, same. XPT Spider, thank you for the prime sub gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You only get one of those a month. Thanks so much for using it on me. I appreciate that. You mean Harmony? Next time Harmony? Um, they might be. We don't know yet. I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping it's Harmony. I don't want a Hunt MC because I already have Dili. I don't really need one. So like, I would prefer if they didn't give us a Hunt Trailblazer just yet. But yeah, we're, we're only allowed to talk about dreams. Nothing. Nothing's gotten announced. So we're not allowed to talk about anything that has not been officially announced. But we can always speculate. Speculations are, have always been a thing. All right, we've used our Trailblaze power. What elemental next? I don't know. Hell MC just has too much competition to be Hunt. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, brother. Hello, claim. Thank you. Okay, now we'll start the 1.3 story quest, which you all have been waiting for. And then we'll do Lucas. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. We don't talk about leakers here. They don't exist. They're not real. They disappeared among the sea of butterflies. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, this is probably gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> I should probably say a YouTube intro, huh? Um, what should I say? Hi, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Do you guys look at my Minecraft voice? My 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 YouTube Minecrafter voice. You think I'm gonna cry? I'm think I'm gonna cry. Bye, YouTube. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to my Minecraft channel. Today, <laughs> we're gonna slay the Ender Dragon. <laughs> Like, subscribe, and smash that like button. <laughs> hey, YouTube. We're about to play the 1.3 story quest. Enjoy. Boom. Perfect. There you go. What is your purpose for entering the seed of divine foresight? I thought you said seed of divine foresight. Like, what are they going to do? Impregnate me, bro? What is your purpose? State your purpose. Oh shit, we're just okay, sometime later, you arrive at the Sea of Divine Fort Hello? Wait a little moment. The Master Diviner will be here soon. Okay. She's temporarily taken on the general's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she Wait, was where's Jingyu in? Situation known in four to five public Wait, he's back to normal. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. Wait, why is she getting a test as general? Where's Jingyu in? I don't think I can ever get used to this. Oh my god, March is so cute. He's so small. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. She sounds so tired. Okay. Now that I like Fu Xuan, she's kind of cute. <laughs> she Okay. The first few times I saw her, I really didn't care about her. But like, now that I like her, I'm like, dang, she's she's kind of adorable. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. 
submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Xing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest win. Oh my god, she's learning. But you're enjoying yourself, right? Share your troubles with me. Should I flirt? I shouldn't. Her girlfriend's right here. I shouldn't flirt. But... But we're not flirting. We're, we're being a concerned friend. And it's different. It's different. One sounds funnier. No, that's her trying to lighten the mood with a joke. But like, this is us being like kind and considerate. So we have to be like, share your troubles with me. Uh huh. Generalship is no trifling matter. It is a duty one must bear. Oh, I think she actually really enjoys it. <laughs> Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? <laughs> There's no way Welt just did that. <laughs> Welt! Of course not. On the contrary, I am eager I love to him. thank you all in my official. I love Welt so much. General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. <gasps> Rewards? Can I get some money? Merch is so cute. Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Lafu. Your devotion is evident. Yeah. Yeah, you're After welcome. discussions with the Six Charioteers. You are henceforth sworn allies of the Lafu. Wait, what? Within the Lafu's jurisdiction. That's it? You are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. So you're telling me our reward for doing all of that is being treated with respect and basic decency which we should have been treated with from the get-go status a vip that's give me money give me a powerful weapon yeah what am i supposed to do with 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 diplomatic respect. <laughs> Vanna, thank you so much for the tier one for four months, gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Okay, where okay. Where is our friend? Where's Tingen? On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master. I really like Stell's smile. I think it's really sweet. Like, I don't know, she's so cute. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible then? <laughs> am I March 7th? Uh, at least it sounds pretty cool. Wait, am I March 7th? <laughs> Wait, she's just like me for real. She. <laughs> you get it, March. You get it, girl. Now that things have been expressed. I still have something to discuss. Have they been astral expressed? Please, this way. <laughs> do you guys get my? Do you guys get my joke? <laughs> I feel like I feel like you guys haven't. I feel like you guys aren't really appreciating the joke I just put out there. They've been astral expressed. Bottom. You guys don't understand humor. You guys are so mean to me. Why can't why can't you guys just clap or something? Why can't you guys just type clap? Or 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 just be like, ha ha ha, that's so funny. Don't sag clap! Don't don't sag clap me! I hate it here. I hate it here. Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? God, March is so real. It's not a mission. 
the Stellaron Crisis, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Law Fu. Yeah, y'all had a bunch of shit. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. Is this like a recap chapter? I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me. So that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So, where should we begin? Let's discuss Fantilia. <laughs> Let's discuss Fantilia first. Let's talk about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Let's discuss the Stellaron Hunters. I'm going to leave best for last. So Stellaron Hunters will be last. Or we can skip everything and say we already had the gist of this. We'll start with Fantilia. It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. We're gonna put oh shit wait i meant to put auto mode whoops tactics employed in the execution of their assaults execution of their results the lord Assault. ravager slithered in unnoticed clandestinely plotting and machinating and surreptitiously bestowed a stellaron upon the disciples of sanctus medicus this heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the into a perilous trap of self-destruction. Hey man, I need the recap, the okay? You think I remember anything? The legion clearly demands a reevaluation. We should proceed cautiously. Proceed cautiously. When the Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow Arbiter thousands of years ago. Bro, these the words are going over my happy. head. Those within the Alchemy Commission the original masters of the so-called way of immortality were ruined at a How long has Stell been the with the Astral Express at this point? Do we know? Like, I'm sure it's like longer than a week, on, but like how long has she actually been with them? For the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Like how does time work? No, it's been longer some than three days willing to work with the enemy. since launch. Acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and- Like canonically in game time. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god, Chingen, I miss you. But why would Fantilia's objective to be to realize their wishes? Bro, she looks like such Those a baddie when evil mode. They should have kept her evil. They betrayed Sinjo only Okay. I'm going to talk about one Lord of my pet Ravager peeves actually from the storyline. I think I think they should have committed to Chingen betraying the Lofu. I think it was a cop out to be like Oh, we don't know where the real the real Tingen is. That was just like a puppet being used uh, for Fantilia and not actually Tingen. Like, no. Why didn't they commit to the bit that Tingen actually turned sicko mode and she turned evil and then like died? I would have actually preferred that so much more than than them being like, oh, there's another one among us. us. I just commit to a, a character being bad. The Stellaron Hunters. We know just as little. Oh my god. <gasps> can we... In the Matrix of can Destiny, we appreciate... I saw a prophecy like, that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. You guys, you guys. Can we just appreciate Elio how hard Himeko was glaring at Kafka? Can we... Can we all, for like, just a moment... Can we get, like... Can we get, like, an 07 in chat for, for just, like, the glare that Himeko is giving... Kafka, the way that she has her hand up to make sure March doesn't say anything so she can glare in peace. It's beautiful. There's so much happening in this scene right now for Kafka and Himeko. It's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful. Based on what Kafka knows, oh my god. Oh my god. I remember the scene. Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the law food. God, I love Kafka. The Stellaron hunters walked right into our trap. And even gifted allies in the form of yourselves. This is more of a gotcha game problem where playable characters can't be complete evil but mass murderers. The is mutual. They they now should just the do it. Has come true, I'll, 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 the I'll bite the bullet in E6, but it's fine. Just make an evil character. I'll do it. A crushing defeat on All right. That we may. But as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the Sien Joe? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? Yeah, who done did it? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. 
thus far. It is a mystery. We've done our best. And we'll solve it. I'm submitting my report to the Objection! Alliance, I'll cut through your lies. Plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Cien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. Oh. I hope you can forgive me. Wow, we won't even get proper credit. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be pouring over every detail of the oh. report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Yeah, mm. we want to get out. I want to go back to Bellabog. I miss Bellabog. time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. Okay, but Fushuan, babes. Before you leave, imagine the overtime you'll get make paid. Time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, oh, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. Bro, sending us on another mission? Something Miss Tingen left it? No. No. It was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took form, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. No. The Cloud Knights were only <gasps> fan. That's foul. Everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. Bruh. She had butter vision. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. Uh oh. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yu. But I feel like. I believe it's best left to her Foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. Aw. Okay. Okay, listen. I just think it's it wouldn't be good storytelling if Ting Yen was actually dead at this moment in time. Because it happened really suddenly. And we really didn't even have a moment to like stew in it. So like I th I think it wouldn't be very good storytelling to like like fully kill her off right now versus like listen bring her back have fantilia kill her in front of yukong now that that would be great i i think that'd be really like that'd be more interesting than just than just killing her like like in that one moment because that, that was just like way too sudden we need time to cook we need them to give us hope all right they, they need us to give us hope and then take it away from us i think that'd be the best best form of uh to like really leave like a um to leave an impression in the player base's minds i understand leave it with us thank you mr yang now let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day <sighs> it's getting late if you need me girl I'll it sounds like me when i was working my nine to five people. Constantly sighing. No. That's so sad, bro. I don't want to hold her fan. I don't. I don't want it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hold it. It's sad, bro. It's so sad. It used to be a pair. <gasps> No. No. Who was she matching with? Was it Yukong? Oh wait, where's is it database? Data bank. <laughs> this bracelet isn't anything old, but the jade was so green and pure that I commissioned a craftsman to make it. I've heard Every that time I head out, I leave a letter behind and lock it in the drawers of my shop. If I come back, then I'll burn it later. If I don't, then it'll be something for others to remember me by. Who 
Who? Girl? What sane person does that? What? What sane person does this? Whether it's driving star skiffs or leading the Skyfaring Commission, Madame Yukong is always present in the Sienjo's course. I'm still lacking in my skills as a helmswoman. Isn't it like one of Yukong's lines about uh, Ching Yan that like she wanted her to take over? The Sienjo need brawny warriors with their swords and spears, as well as unpredictable waters like her who travels freely and unrestrained. I could have swore she said something about wanting Ting Yan to take over the uh the past and sky uh <laughs> like the commission eventually. I like to watch the Skyfaring Commission went toe to toe twelve times against the plague's author in the past. Three times we were nearly wiped out, but each time we rose up from the ashes and rebuilt. God, I love her. Uh what did she say about Yanchi? The sword will vibrate and beg to be unsheathed. Okay, whatever. Why does she talk in riddles? Uh, calling it, this is going to be a comedy. Ting Yan's going to be back and be like, what happened? Why am I supposed to be dead? I was selling cola in a nearby planet. That'd be so freaking funny if that was the case. Let's talk to March. Hey, March. Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way, but we still managed to kick butt and save the law food without breaking a sweat. It feels kind of surreal. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe this was all fate. Uh, we're just mere puppets of the Stellaron Hunters. I'm saying maybe this was all fate. You don't sound very happy. What, 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 what do you mean? I, I'm, I'm fine. Guys, not my phone telling me my trailblazer power is full when I actively just used over a hundred of it like on stream like 10 minutes ago. It may seem like the Stellaron Hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't make a future that doesn't exist come true. Since showing up, we've saved a lot of people and averted disaster for the whole Sian show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? Wait, I didn't... Be happy. Oh my god, you you can make me smile. Actually, I was wondering if Divine oh. Fu could do me a favor. Is this hinting at March's story quest or her companion quest? The Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers and can iterate and reiterate oh. Kafka's past. Aww. So it got me thinking, if I turned the Matrix on me, could it calculate my past? You guys, how fun would it be? Guys, guys, guys. Now, maybe I have been playing a little too much Honkai Impact, but... How fun would it be if March got a sneak peek at her past and she found out she was like a mass murderer and like a horrible person? How fun would that be? Where she would have to deal with the dichotomy of being like a shitty person in the past and then being the lovable like angel that she is right now. And like having to deal with that trauma of like both parts of her. I think that'd be really fun. I, I personally think that'd be pretty fun. What Don Hung is... But Don Hung wasn't a mass murderer. He just, you know, he just like, you know, I don't know, like stole chips or something. But like... And like, he was always aware of it. Having an unpardonable past is literally Don... But Don Hung was aware of it. Marsh doesn't know anything about it. She's been living in blissful ignorance. Oh, you need to hire me? No, no, they don't. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin all of these characters. Why didn't you ask Fu Shuen to help uh, when uh, she was here? I was shy. Talking about personal stuff. <gasps> She's just like everyone? me. It'd be too embarrassing. When you're free, let's go hit up the divination commission together. Oh, she wants to do it with Fu me. Shuen has to say. Oh my God, she wants to. She wants to do it with me. I love March so much. Oh, I love you, March 7th. Things have come to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. Thank you for looking out for me, Mr. Yang. The Master Diviner asked us to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with you, Kong. No, no, I'll no go to the if Palace. If you have anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. So the express is full of criminals? Yeah. What if the express was just jail? The astral jail. Where's Don Hong? 
Danny. Danny. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey. Returning to the Lofu and Scale Gorge waterscape. <sighs> it's a surreal feeling. We're gonna find out that Marge used to be a VTuber and had a Minecraft server. No, that's Gwai Nifen. I left so determined. Who would have thought that circumstances would draw me back once more? It's not like the Xian Zhao has done anything to you yet. How long do you plan on staying here? I'll be gone very soon. Jing Yuan is still recovering, and the Cloud Knights won't protect me anymore. It remains to be seen how the Six Charioteers will react to my presence. But at least for now, I'm safe. Aww. What are you going to do next? I want to the current High Elder of the Vidyatara. Oh, Bailu? It seems I won't be able to cast off Don Fang's negative karma. So I'd like to learn more about his past. I want to find out what I can do to make up for his sins. If you're planning on an extended stay on the Luo Fu, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're going to go on the express and we're going back to Bellabog because I miss Bellabog! Bro, I miss Bellabog so much. Is there anyone else I could talk to here? The NPC next to Danny? The guy? Oh, the girl. Her? What about her? The Ambrosial her? Arbor is dormant. Thanks to everyone's hard-fought battles, the La Fu is safe once more. Before he left, the general uh -huh. told me to handle things at the seat of Divine Foresight. Fortunately, now that victory has been achieved, the plans we prepared will never see the light of day. However, However, the general did order that if he were unable to return to duty, then the master diviner would take over his duty. Dude, Jing Yuan raising all of the death flags? He's raising death flags I didn't even know we had. Alas, I'm no healer. I'm afraid I couldn't say. I'm not a healer, but... I ordered a military doctor to provide the most comprehensive emergency treatment they could. The Alchemy Commission was caught up in the Sanctus Medicus conspiracy. It took a lot of work to find someone. Don't worry, he's okay. For time. now. If we can help, don't hesitate to ask. I don't know much about medicine, but there are lots of ways to seal wounds and prevent injuries from worsening. Don't worry. Long life species are resilient and strong. The general will pull through. He's faced down situations a hundred times more dangerous than this. God damn. Huh. What do we plan on doing? Yeah, what are you planning? Um, thousands of years ago, the Xianzhou Alliance was at its wit's end trying to deal with it. Today, nothing's changed. Oh, okay. So what you're telling me is you guys have done nothing in a thousand years. Understandable, have a nice day. Resurrected. Aside from the Arbiter's Lux Arrow, I'm afraid that nothing can materially harm it. We might- If you can locate exactly where the Stellaron is within the Arbor, then the Express might be able to help out. Godwell is so nice. Thank you for your kind offer, Mr. Yang. But something Mr. as Yang. important and fundamental as the Ambrosial Arbor will require a meeting and deliberation from the Six Chariots. God, I hate corporate world. Why does everything need to be a meeting? It can be an email. Better to wait until the Master Diviner has another 20 or 30 years under her belt. Subduing the enemy is one of the most minor parts of a general's work. They have to meet with the law. Okay, I don't care. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot. Okay, thanks. All right, let's go to Yukong. Bro, is am I going to be sad if I go talk to Yukong? I feel like... I feel like I'm going to be sad if I talk to Yukong. I, 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 it, it feels it feels like I'm gonna be upset you rest I'll stand guard when is it not sad with Yukon does this game just hate her oh my god hey new job application forms check wait did they give her a voice wait wait Wait. They gave her a voice? That's new. This is this is new.
Have you always been this pretty? <laughs> you are very cute too. Totally my style. Ah, uh, when in doubt, you can always riz her up. Oh, uh, Shuyi is here. I see. Please extend my regards. Oh, she sounds so tired. Minutes. No, she sounds sad. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. Fun fact: Shui Yi, is voice actress, is Yue Mia. That that's it. That that's my fun fact. Did you guys did you guys have fun with that fact? This is our our Genki girl Yoe Mia. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> I don't want to give her the. I don't want to give her the, the fan. Skyfaring commission. I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellawan crisis. Yeah, no problem. Aww. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tinyun. Oh no! Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. No! No, this is sad! Tinyun. Oh! Oh! Oh, that hurt! Oh, that hurt! I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? Aww. Look at someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission. Turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise. What happened to the real Ting Yun? Wait, 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 wait. She was in disguise for over 30 years and no one noticed? Oh god, the real Ting Yun's been long dead, bro. Oh, they all look so sad. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. I know. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers. Sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul soothing ceremony oh. hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Ceremony? Will you consider? Anything for you, Queen. Bro, the way she said Tingen hurt a my heart. Soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long life species of the Xianzhou, death I, has always been a distant. There's distant no way they're making me relive another funeral after we just played chapter 25. There's no way Honkai, as a franchise, is making me experience two separate funerals in two different games in two days apart. This is no, this is ridiculous. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. Bro, this hurts. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for the time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Aww. Aww. Honkai funeral. That was foul. That. That was. That was disgusting. 
Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars Aww. to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. Bro, Yukong keeps outliving people. That's so sad. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yu. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. Yukong loves Ting Yun so much! I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. Aww. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. <gasps> she sounds so sad! I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star skiff. Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madame Yukon. Bro, this is so sad. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Um... Remember when chapter one ended on a really happy note? Remember when Bellabog had the hope of the future and and we left with like a smile on our face and everything was good and happy? <laughs> you re re remember that? Like the only real casualty was Cocolia. And like only Bronio was sad about that. <laughs> I mean, I was sad about that, but like everyone else wasn't. Like gossip. And here I am rambling on proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Aww. Or you could just cut yourself off. Oh. It's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. Guys, I thought this Did was the, the happy, wholesome game. Over? We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Look how sad March looks! You guys, look how sad her face is! Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. All her shit from 30 years is in this in two boxes. God, they're dating. Okay, let's see what there is. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow. Why does she have a bow? Something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of antique but who'd want to hold on it's so to something cute like this? oh ting yun explained that one to me it's a folk statuette from foxy in antiquity they say it can bring wealth if placed correctly there's also a note in the package this is for you mr yun ming Aww. wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor Yan Ming, it seems like 
this is a gift for you, from Miss Ting Hyun. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. Aww. Oh, this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and Bro, the whistling so flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddity. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin what? that could shatter glass with its piercing shape. What? Oh, I was completely unprepared for Y'all better not be shipping an NPC looking I ass with Ting Yen. I would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. I know, right? She's so pretty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. I want to take a look at the box. I want to take a look at the knife. The bow is probably for um, Yukong. This bow. Uh, don't pluck it, Mark. It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me. Could it? No, Mark. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. I love their dynamic so much. I genuinely... I genuinely oh, love right. it. Just kidding. Just trying to liven things up around here. Oh, what a mood maker. This oh wait, I clicked the wrong thing. Good All right, just oh, she's the I same thing. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure of is that's a kitchen knife. Um, lore lore bomb confirmed. March seventh does not know how to cook. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. What are all these things? Uh, it looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Earl? Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Yeah, the lack of mouth movement is very prevalent in this uh, 1.3. We must leave. Okay, you know what's stupid? Sorry, I just... I'm thinking about the design and the architect of this room layout. Why are there stairs that go up and then they go right back down? Just have them go down from here or some shit. Like, why is it raised? I've never attended a memorial, and I don't know what I should do here. I don't know. Relax. Also, cut your hair, boy. Bro, they're also. Everyone looks sad. Bro, everyone looks so sad. Over there. Because people die, okay? The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Attack the child, seal it. Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name Owner? Is... How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? Uh, owner? Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised.
promised to get for me. Oh. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. No. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Child labor exists in every universe, a man. Product into the industry is really hard. Miss Ting Yun came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. Aww. She said she, she could was find so me sweet. a blanket during her travels. One that nobody on the CN Joe had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. <gasps> Don't ask me that question. Where is Miss Ting Yun today? Oh, oh, she had to embark on another long voyage. I'm afraid Miss Tingen is. We had to tell the truth. You tell Ming Min about what happened to Tingen. Oh, Miss Ting Yun. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm Among sure the sea of butterflies. Miss Tin Yun would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. I think. Bro, I this is sad. Yun in return. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yun's blend. Seeing as Ting Yun won't be able to try it, we should drink a cup to her memory. Well, I'm never using this item. What did you do? I didn't do anything! Bro, this is so sad. Wait, how do I get there? Dude, this is so sad. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Good quality, good price. Half off rate chartering. High end what? guard. The best choice for galactic commerce. What? Uh, is famous for its mung bean soda. Oh, Ching Chue. Hey. Wait, did she buy Ching Chue something? <gasps> no. No. Also, how is this a vending machine? Where is the soda being kept? Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? No. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for this. I, 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 I'm not ready for this. I would, I do. I'm not, oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, guys, I'm not ready for this. Isn't that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Aurum Alley? It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Yeah, it's so quiet. Tourists fresh off the Star Skiff always. Does Ching Chui know about Tingyan? It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of celestial jade or slack, gosh, she's so real. I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Think to as the most real character on earth. Now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Oh, wait, we what? Wait, we don't get to tell her what? Wait, no, hold on. No, no, wait, I wanted the depression that came with telling her. No, 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 they, no, they know each other. No, no, they, they have voice lines about each other. 
I saw Tingyun stopping in front of the games parlor once, so I invited her to play around. Tingyun is pretty, and her play is entertaining. People crowded around the game table that day, and the mood was on fire. The owner lost all his money. It was great to watch. Bruh. Did she talk about Ching Che? I just thought she was a frequent customer of the games parlor. But recently, I heard she is a diviner from the Divination Commission. Aren't they always busy over there? How can she have the time for a games parlor? <laughs> That's funny. Quality, good price. Half a free can they not put me an ad read in here? No, Ching Che, she's nothing but a real girly pop. Why is it so empty here? How do I get up here? Oh, there's that stairs. Spice is supreme. Check out that sign. Here it is. Why is this NPC? Why is this NPC kinda? Why why is this? I'm just saying. I'm just, guests, welcome to our humble I'm, eatery. I'm just saying. Get for you today. Oh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? Yeah, for you. Oh, oh, what a precious person she is. Yeah, she's oh, so precious. Anything like her gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto. You can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> Then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about Aww. dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. Wait, Tingen was so sweet. She came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. Ah, look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a colossal titanium terrapin shell. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. He's so Among kind. The arm alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames. Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic. Yeah, there's no way she was fake for 30 years. We're talking gifts. It's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, oh no! The trade port is open again for business. No! You must be real busy, right? One or two chat gamers. One or two. It's rough, buddy. It's rough out here. This... This is real, right? Unfortunately. The monster you mentioned, where did it come from? Oh. I wish... I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these, bro. Are this is so sad. Control and understanding of a cook like me. Huh. Thank you, all of you. Let me prepare a dish for you, as a gift from Miss Tang Yun. How am I the monster in this situation? Did I kill her? It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. Aww. Please, you'll have to eat her share too. Wait, what do you mean technically oh, yes? I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. I think we all know who she intended to gift Mr. it to. Mr. Yan Ming said an Annie Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yu Kong, right?
I knew it. I knew it. I knew that we had to go here. I knew it. I knew it. No. No, I don't want to do it. I don't I don't want it. I don't want it. Call me Jon Snow, bro. I don't want it. <sighs> This is gonna hurt. I don't wanna hurt. Hey. Okay. Wait, you know it would hurt even more? They're holding hands. And look, she's looking at her too. Hold on. This hurts you guys. This is kind of this is kind of pain. Why am I doing this again? Why, why am I why why am I causing myself this this type of pain? It hurts so good. Is it good kind of hurt? It just kind of hurts. There you go. It's saved. I'm gonna switch back to Celie in case I have to fight anything. Ah. Oh. What brings you here? No. This bomb. No. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my <coughs> It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. You can still do something. You can still do something. Thirty can... years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. That was only thirty years still, ago. The Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, Aww. never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant. Always Bro, this is so sad. With me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. Like this is this is genuinely so sad. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. Aww. I was wrong. 
Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. No! Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait! wait, wait. Wait for me! Oh, he's here? Why? Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amakasador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. I just think it's gonna be so funny when Ting Yen just shows up randomly. Like, hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Aww. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars among the sea of stars for her to be able to take illusions of the past again would make her very happy bruh i she's not dead Okay, guys, listen, listen. I'm not huffing the copium here. She's not dead. All right? It'd be way too easy to kill her off like that, all right? Tingen is still alive. They're making us go through all this emotion so that when she comes back, we'll be extra happy. All right? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get a five-star Tingen. It's not Hime Copium. It's, it's, it's the truth. Tingen will be back. And, and, and she's going to be back better than ever. She's going to come back from whatever Emmy casted her job that she was doing. And, and she's just going to be like, um, why are you guys being all depressed? I'm literally right here. And that's going to happen. Of all this stuff we've got, what do you think we should place on the star skiff? Um, the Amicastador seal, the uh, T named after her. I'm gonna go with the seal. Thank you for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. Bro, this is so sad. This is a gift from Miss Yen Sui on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. This time, we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. We'll seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. Oh my gosh. Listen, you guys are out here shipping Yan Ming and Ting Yan, which I don't ship, so ill. Um, when you really should be uh, shipping Yu Kong and Ting Yan. I don't understand why you guys are ignoring the perfectly viable ship right there in front of us and going for her and that NPC looking ass when Yu Kong is right there being just as depressed. They're nothing like mother daughter. They are literally colleagues. They've been working together for 30 years. She didn't raise her. Where are you guys getting this fake lore from? You guys, you guys, where are you making up? this this fake ass lore from their little workplace relationships do you not read office romance you kong splash art it was confirmed that that's not even ting yen it's just another foxy and kiddo you guys that's not ting yen it's not ting yen 
And even if it was, they met as working adults. I'm gonna ship it. <laughs> yeah, it was Kai or Sai whatever her name is. <laughs> Venus shipping on pure copium. Listen, listen. I ship Yukong and Tingyan. They are both working adults. I'm shipping it. There's nothing that you guys can do to change my mind. I ship it. And I don't ship it with that NPC look at ass. Maybe Tingyan's into gilfs. Oh, 100%, bro. Kai had brown hair. Bro, they changed Kai's hair color like four times throughout that quest. I'm just saying. I ship it. Well, they're not 18 and 40. They're like both 300 plus. Okay? You guys. Listen. Listen. Listen, gamers. Listen. Are they real? Are there fox people in real life? You guys? I want to ask you this. Are there fox people in real life? Huh? Huh? They are both well over the age of 18. They have been working together for 30 years. They have been adults for 30 years. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sick of you guys. I'm sick of you guys. Uh, they put morality uh, for immortal people. Ahem. Listen, I'm just saying, you guys. They didn't meet when Tingyan was a child. They met as colleagues, you guys. <laughs> you guys. They met as working adults. You have to understand this. They met as working adults. Tingyan is not 35. She's a fox. The Foxians have extremely long lifespans. She is not 35 years old. Oh my god. And even if she was 35, 35 is old AF, bro. I'm not arguing with you guys. I will just start banning you. <laughs> it is time for the soul soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Star City <laughs> like <laughs> Did Mina just say, okay, 35 is not old AF, okay? It's not old AF, okay? It's not, I'm sorry. Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Wait, where am I going? Hello? Now I feel, okay, 35 is not old, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll stand guard. Listen. I ship it. I don't I don't care what anyone else says. I ship it. I've seen way too much art of it. I ship it. And I will not go back on shipping it either. How old am I? I'm 27. And you guys listen. 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 As long as they met as adults, as consensual adults, who gives a shit about the age difference? As long as they met as consensual adults, which they did because they worked together for 30 years, it's allowed to be shipped. Human age doesn't exist with Foxy and Aegis, so it doesn't matter. Thank you! She raised her? No, what? Oh my god, what do you guys make? I, I swear to god, you guys just make up shit. I swear to god, you guys make up things. Like, where, where did, it, where was it ever once stated? Ting Yen has parents. Where, where did, and the parents are not Yu Kong. Where are you guys making this shit up? <laughs> like, where are you guys getting this fake ass knowledge from? <laughs> We're making a, yeah, I can, I can tell you guys are making shit up. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. I will die on this hill. Yeah, because I ship it. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let chat bully me into not shipping it. I ship it. It's just a thing I ship. Guys, Twitch chat is not the TikTok comment section, alright? We're allowed to we're allowed to ship things. I know, right? People are drawing the line at Ting Yen and Yu Kong when people ship uh, uh, Kafka with Stell. Okay. Oh, whoa, this is actually animation. So
Oh, this is pretty. Oh, and then March is standing respectfully. Ugh, Yanqing, that little shit. Oh, Yukong's face! Wow. Another lover dead. That sucks, man. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't Did they just, like, not sooner. make the mouths move? Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Are we gonna get actual items? What, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? <laughs> Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? <laughs> Uh, I'd like some free real estate, please. Please. Let us reconvene at is that, the is that, seat did of he just say no? Foresight. Are we not getting free real estate? Are we not... Are we Are we not getting free real estate? That's how they also hold funerals. I once held the same ceremony on the Fong Ho, some 30 years or so ago now. Painful memories don't ever fade away with time. I don't want to bear witness to those scenes again. Once I finished handling the various tasks at hand, I want to aid the Cloud Knights in their investigation. Aww. I'll fly out on a star skiff. <gasps> She's gonna fly? Tan Yun's original flight path onto the Xianzhou. Rest assured. I will leave no stone unturned. Wait, Yukong's gonna fly again? So they also hold for Ting Yen? So they also hold Aww. Huh. Aww. He's gonna die again soon? Bruh. So many people have death flags. I think Jing Yuan's the next death, though. The Let's way that they're prepping Fu Shuen to take over. Stand guard. It's very sussy. Would you like me to relay your message? Now let me in. Let me in. Why didn't he say state your purpose again? I'm back. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo Law Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the nameless. Okay, so like when I was a kid, people used to tell me like if your bangs covered up your eye for too long, you would eventually like like go blind in one eye. Is that true? Like maybe not go blind, but like your vision gets worse in one eye because like you never use it. That's what I was told as a kid. No, is that is, is it is, is it not true? Was I was I was I lied to as a kid? I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, <gasps> the symbol of our allied friendship. No, but Ting Yen had a bracelet made out of Jade Abacus. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago. Everything reminds me of Ting Yen. Etching the record into a jade abacus, the world may crumble and the heavens may fall. But this oath shall never be broken. 
The same it shall is never be broken. Jadakus. It is a record of the Lawfu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. Oh? It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my hand. Oh, so it's kind of like a, like a pager? No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Lawfu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew. Oh my god, you guys. Whatever your need may be. I can already see it. Okay, guys, I can see this. I can see this. Imagine this, gamers. Patch 4.7. Where we've been to like several different planets at this point. At least like five different planets. There's gonna be. There's going to be an intergalactic war against the planets. All of the eons are going to go to war. And then we're going to have to, like, you know, go against the big bad. And then we're going to be summoning all our friends. It's going to be end game, you guys. We're going to get freaking end game, like, in Star Rail. Yeah, the Nook better watch out, buddy. How fun would that be? And like, and then like, there's a cutscene of us holding the Jade Abacus, and then like the Lawfu army just like is like, whoosh, like through like in their spaceships. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> <laughs> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Um. I mean, we have your phone number. We could just text you, bro. Yep, got it. Say no more. Sure thing. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. Oh. General. In accordance with the edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. Aww. From this day henceforth. You may come and go freely on the Lawfu. Aww. Nice. Nice. They're so cute. I love Starch. Oh, he looks but so espresso depresso. The crimes of Don Fong have had far reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. It's okay, he has a stick. Again, I hope you can understand. Are you not a Dawn 7th fan? I mean, I can understand both ships, but I prefer March Stell. But I, I also, I, I understand Dan and March. I, I get it, it's a good ship. I, I just personally prefer one over the other. But I can, I, I can understand both, and I can, I can appreciate both. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound what is about March Well? Approved. Isn't Well married? The occasion calls He for has a wife, bro. A line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. I bid you farewell. Oh my god, bye. Oh my god, we're finally leaving. Oh my god, are we finally leaving? Can you go back to Bellabog, Hinako please. Messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gates reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. Aww. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Aww. Himeko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission, too. Right? When will Himeko be allowed to leave the train? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? Nope. Uh, I think we should visit some of the friends we made along the way. Uh No. Oh, I've got goldfish memory. We haven't Oh, come on. Just let me leave. So this trip. No, just let me leave. Fine, fine. 
Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two Just of you let come me back leave. Soon, okay? I want to leave. Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Mr. Yang. Optional before you return to the Express. Bid farewell to the people you got to know. Okay, I'll say bye to Ching Chue. We've been so busy running around in circles. We haven't gotten the chance to say goodbye to friends. Who should I go to first? The Master Diviner? Ching Chue? The Miracle Doctor? Wait, why'd she say it like that? Or why'd she say it like Master that? Gongshu? Ching Chue? Uh, shall we go and meet them all? We are not saying goodbye. No. You want me to say bye to this little shit right here? This is what he gets. I hate this little shit. I hate him so much. Slice him. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Let me out. Get me out of here. I'm not saying bye to him. Uh, where's Ching Chue? Where's Ching Chue? Oh, hello there. Eh, oh, 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 you phase out of existence. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't talk to you. Say goodbye to D Ting. Where is D Ting? I don't know where anyone is. Top right? Top right? Where's D-Ting? I came up from Starskiff Haven just to see you. Where's Doggo? At Starskiff? All right, puppers, where are you? Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. Where's the dog? Where is DT? Okay, but where's DT? On the bridge? <gasps> there he is! Hey, hey little guy! off into the distance he disappeared among the sea of butterflies <laughs> oh he wants to show us something where do you want to go little guy come on let's go bro i'm gonna cry no can we just can we just steal it okay guys 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 what if we just yeah like his owner's dead what if we just like steal it look at him look at him just look at his little run look at him, look at him, look at him go All right, bro, where are you taking us? Hello? Crime mean a solution to loneliness. <laughs> okay, seriously, dude, where are we going? Come on, come on, chop it up, bro. I got, I got, I want to leave. Bro, I'm sick of the low food. I want to go back to Bellabog. Come, oh, a chest. Oh, wait, is that the present? Is this a gift for me? Oh, D-Ting. D-Ting circles around and sits down. Expectantly wait, uh, wanting to see you open the chest and get something nice. I guess a dog really is a man's best friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well. Well. I mean. Okay, actually, though. 
I want this one. <laughs> well, that's so cute though that you get the uh, the icon. I think that's so cute. All right, now let's go say bye to Yu Kong and for 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 the the depression of it all, and then we'll say bye to Ching Che. And I think those are the only NPCs I care about. Are you off then? Oh, I'm so sorry. The Xianzhou Law Four is all the richer for your brief time with us. The Shang? Oh yeah, and I forgot about her. Things will be half of the Sky Faring Commission. Bro, I'm and tired of Law Four. <laughs> We've been here for like three months too long. Like, how come? Bellabog wasn't this long. They blind by the blonde kids. I don't think they can see me. You can always count on us. <laughs> Wait, that was so messed up of me to say. <laughs> I passed the Shang earlier. Did I really? Where was she? Where was uh? Where was Ching Che? Oh, she's by the T. Okay, if she's by the T, I'll say bye to Sushong. Yeah, I know Bella. Oh wait, he's yeah, he's over here. Did I pass her earlier? I don't remember seeing her. Ching Che is in the gambling area, as she should be, Queen. A uh, leaf. Thank you so much for the prime sub gamer. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. I love, I love Sushong. Not the book, bro. Uh, hi. Wait, we never actually met her. Sure am. Things have been in constant turmoil since I transferred to the La Fu. Oh my god. Um, free time? I'm fun fact. Some storytelling. Uh, Sushong's voice actress. So right now I'm currently playing uh, um, Night Code. Or sorry, Rain Code. Uh, lol. Uh, I'm playing Rain Code right now uh, from the same creator of Danganronpa. And uh, her voice actress is actually the Shinigami in that game as well. Are you? Sorry, I've, I've met so many people recently. You seem unfamiliar. Judging by your clothes, yeah, she's Shinigami. If you, you play in the English, outworlder. you just sold me on Rain Code. Yeah, dude, she's Shinigami. I looked up everyone's voice actress. Oh, also, uh, um, Yoimiya's voice actress is in it as well. That's why she's cheeky. No, she does so well as Shinigami. I see. Silent but deadly told me something. Okay, I shipped on Hunga Sushong. You must be them. You must be them. Mm -hmm. Pretty accurate nickname, right? <laughs> that guy has a lot on his plate. It's enough to make you worry. The fact you're still Okay, okay, I'm tired. Goodbye. Ever since I was you should bring Alright, now where's the you said Ching Chue is at the gambling den, which is it, which is at Exalting Sanctum, which should be over here. Okay. And then we can play Luca's quest. I guess we'll have a little bit of a longer stream today. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. All right, Ching Chue. Okay, you guys told me this shit was going to be 30 minutes. This took me like two hours. Am I just a slow gamer? I know. I saw Bailu. I'm ignoring her. Where's Ching Chue? Hello? This is the gambling den. Where is she? Was I lied to? You guys don't have to agree with me that I'm a slow gamer. Like, you, you, you could have let me live in peace. Oh, hey, there's a chest. Uh... Bro, where is she? She's at the tables. The pavilion. How do I go up? Bro, <laughs> where are the stairs? I can't read maps. Dude, map reading is hard. Uh, okay, those are children. Where? Where? Hello? Girl, no, don't girl me. Is she here? Can you be a tool in this Italian? Oh, okay, thing? girl, why are you by yourself? Oh, I'm guessing seeing you here probably Founder. means that your affairs on the Sanjo are mostly complete. I love you, Chincha. Is that it? I thought you were gonna stay for at least a little longer. No, girl, I've been trying to leave for well, so long. To play Celestial Jade in the end. If he hasn't got the hang of it yet, tell him to come see me, and I'll show him the ropes. Then Fusha- No! You guys, I'm- I'm done! Oh, I'm done with the low food, let me leave! You interested in learning yourself? Also, I'm kind of surprised that there's so many- Like, okay, I don't know why, but it really just felt like the low food was nothing but like a sausage fest. 
Like, I don't know why it felt like that, but like after saying bye to all these NPCs, they're all girls. <laughs> like, so. like what? <laughs> why did it feel like such a sausage fest when I was playing it? We're in agreement then. Yeah, I want to play Lucas Quest already. I want to go back to Bellabog, you guys. Listen, Lofu was fine or whatever, but it was kind of mid in comparison to the emotional highs that I got in, 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 in you know, in Bellabog. Bellabog, so I'm not saying bye to Yanchi and he can go suck my dick. I am sick of that little shit. He needs to stop coming into my account. Oh, There's oh, oh, he may go, hello. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. Oh my god, I love Himeko. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? Bro, we haven't seen her in forever. From a universal perspective, there is little difference Dude, between the lives of seeing all Himeko kind of hurts species. after playing chapter 25. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Wow, they really just get like the like the monologues at the end of the uh, post chapters, huh? There wasn't enough Yuri in the Lofu. Yeah, the only Yuri we had was like dead Yuri with like Yukong. And it was like one sided Yuri as well. We're back! Oh my god, hi. Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Bro, I love March. You're back. Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. Now, what's the next planet? I hope we go to, to um. Still, some. I want to go to Silver Wolf's planet. 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 I want to go to Punk Lord. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing <gasps> with no. you guys. Well, can no. stay on the okay. express. Okay, Himiko, baby girl, you're not allowed to leave the express. You will die. All right, you, you, you need to stay. You're not allowed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? So what's our next stop? Penaconi. Oh, Do you remember? what? Before Kafka's proposal, that Penaconi? was our original destination. Uh, I think I need a reminder. Penaconi? The Express's records show that Penaconi was a prison planet. Prison? The IPC to exile criminals. At least, it was at the time of recording. We're going to jail? However, following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipe. They say it's Bro. been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. Dude, we're gonna get audited by the IPC. I'm so excited. Like Topaz, oh no, I forgot to do my taxes. <laughs> Are you gonna punish me, Topaz? State of the planet, so I accepted. Like, oh no, I need auditing, Topaz. I just misplaced my credits. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Yeah, because Topaz is supposed to be from the IPC, right? So like, oh, what is this? <clears throat> What? All who enter here um, are jailers or prisoners. Which are you? Um. <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> I trust the nothing that comes out of this Stellaron, man's mouth. The Ambrosial Arbor, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. Oh. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Sienjo, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender? Oh my god. You require encouragement. Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power does indeed stem from the abundance. <laughs> I, I love him. As you. I love him so much. We are both enemies of Yaosher. <laughs> Wait, why is there. That's right. <gasps> Stay out of our way. What? The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. What? The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. Oh my this god. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. Wait, 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 wait. And this time, 
We will put the abundance in their grave. Um. Um. What? <laughs> wait, 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 are we just going to ignore that fact? If you guys, any side Locha is on is not the good side. That man is evil in every universe. I love this. Oh my god, I want to be on their side. <gasps> I want to be on their side. Dude, they're like Jesse and James. They're like they're like the freaking like Team Rocket of the Lofu. I could fix her. No, you can't. We're going to accept her as she is. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Bro, that was so intense. My, like, my face tracking stopped. Oh, holy shit, dude. Wait, I wasn't expecting that at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, we got a text from Danny boy. What's wrong? Want me as a bodyguard? It's still so funny that they call me baby girl. Oh, imbibitor, imbibitor. Imbibitor. I hardly know her. jokes okay let me live i love those jokes all right i don't want to do that right now though we're gonna do luca's quest right now oh sushong wait oh we get a free one wow that's gonna be e like 300 all right luca finally oh finally we're going back to bellabog freaking finally you're here for luca quest hello molly welcome in uh you guys please go check out molly she is actually the voice actress of zila i'll actually say her name correctly for once but but yeah go check her out she's great she's super sweet but it is time to finally return to bella bug freaking finally i went back turn? to my my steely team for this i had to no more free to play kafka team because you know i'm i'm a free to play gamer i've never spent money on this game ever in my entire life wait where, where do i go wow. okay so i went the wrong way love to see it Vanna, thank you so much for gifting us up out to molly thank you i appreciate that all right wait what do, what do, you, what do you mean for no 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 listen 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 gamers listen Look at this. Look at this. So we have my bronze CLE team, which is perfect. Amazing. Beautiful. CLE's hit 1.4k da uh, 1.4 million damage before. She's she's great. This is a free-to-play team. You know why? You know why it's free-to-play? There's two four stars on this team. That is the most free-to-play type. Honestly, look, I can even put the I can even put Trailblazer up in here. This is even more. It's even more free-to-play. Three out of four of the units they are freaking are freaking for like they're free they're free we just ignored we just ignore um we just we just we just ignore this this didn't happen this isn't real this was free to play i just got very lucky by losing four 50 50s but it was free so it's fine all right where's luca ah, i see it oh my god wait aren't you going to watch the fight zila He's defending his championship title. Oh my god, Oleg. It's been so long. Guys, I miss Bellabog. It's just like, oh, this is... I feel at home here. This is like Mondstadt and Genshin. I just, I just genuinely feel at home when I'm in this area. Ugh, nah, I'll pass. It's not like anyone else has a chance with him around. <laughs> You're right about that. I get it if you don't want to join in the fun. It's all the same after a while. Who would win in a 1v1? Luca or, or Zila? I feel like Scythe beats like fists any day of the week. 
You need to play as Bronya. Okay, I'll swap. Don't worry. Ah, what a rare moment of rest. Maybe I should find a spot to stretch my legs a bit too. Zila and Ole. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh my God, Stell speaks. I'll go ask them. Hey guys. Hey, the trailblazer. Been a while since I've seen you around. How you doing? Hey, how have your travels been? Thanks to you, things are pretty peaceful. I'm not used to Zila being like nice to us. <laughs> Wait, sorry. I'm just like remembering the the uh, the museum quest line, and I'm sorry. Do we do, do we all just like forget when Trailblazer or like Stell was teasing her for like 20 minutes straight about Bronya? Because I do, and that lives in my brain rent free. <laughs> Silly girl. Just a few days of hard-earned rest, and you're already making it sound like jail time. Yeah, Zila, no last name. So what are you two chatting about? I kind of, I'm kind of missing Boulder Town's homie feel. <gasps> Is this game stalking me? It, did I not? Did I? <laughs> wait, wait, that's kind of creepy. Did, I literally just said that. Uh, homie? Oh, sheesh. You must have gone through a lot since leaving here. Girl, you don't know you don't know anything. Mm, sounds like our rustic and friendly community left a good impression on the visitors. No, no, dead ass. I'm convinced there's a Hoyo spy watching my streams. Simply because every single like quality of life thing I've pointed out in my Honkai Impact playthroughs, they have fixed it after I finished it and called it out. Like, I go through it, I call out what could be fixed, and then it gets fixed in, like, a later patch. And I'm like, after I've just, like, what? Like, after I literally just went through it, now you want to fix it? But it's fine. It's whatever. I, I, it's just another selfless thing I do for you guys. Oh, you heard us. We were talking about my student, Luca. Alright, what about Luca? Oh, you probably haven't met him yet. In short, he's a top-tier fighter in the underworld. He was also doing work for Wildfire before, just not in this town. Oh, right. She hasn't seen Luca defend his championship title before, right? Zila, why don't you take our hero and swing by the fight club to show her the match? Uh... <laughs> what? You don't want to? No, it's just... I'm worried Wait, what would he do? I do something stupid again. Come again? Come on, take me. I want to go, please. Uh, how old are you again? <laughs> God, I love oh, Bella Bug. I remember now. Luca was defending his title once, and Zila was watching in the audience. The opponent for that fight was too weak. They went down with just a few punches. I don't know what got into Luca after that. But he said out uh, loud that he wanted Zila to come up and fight him right uh, there and then. Uh, why don't we stop there, Chief? I'd rather not relive the moment. Wait, wait, no, I wouldn't know what happened. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. No, anyway, I wouldn't know what, what happened. Like. He forgets about himself once he's in the mood. But I trust Luca not to make the same mistake again. So, back to the original Okay, if it was suggestion. a mistake, then Are she beat his ass. To the fight club, Zila. Ugh. Fine, I'll take you there. I love how like, like she always acts like a little sun sun, but she always does it in the end. It's so cute. That's more like it. The more friends, the merrier. I hope you can get along with my favorite student. Hey, Oleg, you're not supposed to admit that you have favorites. Why does Luca always come sneaking back into town like this? I haven't seen him for a while. Hope he's grown up a bit since then. Oh my god. Alright, it's time to enter. Fight Club. Yeah, I assume that okay. That's yeah. it. I give up. Lucas cute. <laughs> friends of the under I mean I mean friends of Bellabog! <laughs> the champion of the 1761st Fighting King Challenge. 30 tournaments. Why do they have so many tournaments? The Boulder King of Fists, Luca! Okay, he's cute, I guess. <sighs> he's cute. Uh, looks like 
like it's over already. I like that he has a ponytail. Oh god. Oh god, I'm scared. He's about to challenge. Oh no. Hey, Zila. And uh you are. <laughs> I can't take my own username seriously. You guys, should I should I be a, sh should I change my name back? <laughs> I just like I'm just like canonically imagining Stell being like name's baby girl. <laughs> I'm still looking at her. Oh, I forgot to introduce her. This is the Trailblazer. You must have heard of her before. Oh, so this is the Trailblazer who helped reunite the overworld with the underworld. It's truly a pleasure to meet you. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Where? Where was Luca during the entire thing? Luca's V is also in rain code. Wait, who is he in rain code? Wait, let me hear his voice again. Were you here just to see my fight? <laughs> I'm flattered. Wait, who was he in? Who was he in rain code? He didn't exist. Wait, he was among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. He is Yomi? Bro, Yomi is like super sadistic and like and like does really sussy shit with his like second in command, his right hand, who helps him with everything. Bro, that's like oh my god, that's range. I just want a little fight in the cage. What you did was much bigger than that. We Luca! 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 Ugh. Crowd never gets tired, do they? Yeah, look at them. It's, it's always arm day. Do you want it outside? It's a bit loud for talking in here. I thought I was gonna See fight. Time, everyone. Wait, I want them to fight. There are sparks yet to fly. Ugh, finally, I think we lost them. Let's chat here. You're popular as ever, champion. I'm sensing some one-sided animosity here. Oh, are you still angry at me over that one time, Zila? I just got a bit carried away. Wait, what happened? So you two had a fight? Okay, of yeah. Of course not. Two senior members of Wildfire duking it out in the fight club? That would be bad form. The mood was on fire that day, but the final match was over in just a few swings. Everyone wanted more. So in the, in the moment, <laughs> I just... On. Don't hold that against me, Zila. Yeah, yeah, he's just an entertainer. I was impressed by you. I've wanted to spar with you for ages. Ugh, I don't fight for fun. Stop getting your hopes up. Anyway. Wait, did they not actually fight? Out here. What did you want to talk about? Oh, yes. Uh, so I'm trying to get a plan going. A plan? Yes. More accurately, my personal training plan. I want you to join me in witnessing the next steps in the development of Luca, the Boulder Town fighting champion. Is, isn't he already the Boulder Town fighting champion? Uh, whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Chief Oleg wanted us to come and cheer for you. He didn't say anything about becoming your sparring partner. <gasps> Wait, do we get to beat him up? We haven't got the time. <laughs> You can't hide anything on that face of yours. Oleg already told me that. Wait, I want to beat him up. Peaceful now. I think that'd be so fun. Can I get the bat out? We'll go destruction path. Besides, look at this gal. You want in, right? Uh, you got me. I do have plenty of time. Protagonist at your service. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, they got me with that line. <clears throat> That name's protagonist, and I'm uh, I'm at your service. Uh, that might be the weirdest thing you've ever said. Uh, Zila, please don't 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 comment on me breaking the fourth wall. Let me let me live in peace, all right? I I, I want I want to to break the fourth wall in as much peace as possible. So that's a yes, right? I knew it. Ugh, there's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, since she agreed, count me in too. 
It's so easy to convince her to do things. You guys, it's so easy. All you have to be like, oh, Bronya's gonna be sad. Or, oh yeah, I wanna do it. And then she just does it. God, I love it. She's such a son. Great. That's settled then. The training is on Sparog's turf. I heard about your achievements. You probably the VA for Luca like is your boss your in your hand, life, right? so this quest is the funniest shit ever. Oh my god. Wait, that'd be so fun. To just like get to like in a work setting, talk shit to your boss. <laughs> that'd be so oh, fun. God, I we wish. Alright, wait, where are we going? Wait, hold on. Ahem. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's been so long. Guys, it's been so long. I miss them. I miss them together. I miss them so bad. Alright, but wait, where am I supposed to be going? Hello? Wait. Wait, what? What am I... What am I doing? Do I just have to talk to him? How about it? Are you ready to head out for the special training? Oh yeah, let's go. That was fast. Let's do it. Okay, thank you. Please, like I needed, I needed the, I needed the quest marker on. Okay. Godzilla, don't fall behind. I don't need you to remind me. Let's go. Okay. Oh wait, wait, I actually have to play the game. What is this? Okay. What which, which team comp do I do? I can do, I could do Kafka comp or I could do Zila comp. Kafka dot. But, but they have, but they have quantum. They have quantum debuff. Zila, Bronia, Silverwolf. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. You, to be like canonically. Yeah. I have to have Luca on, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but you know. You have to like, like Celia's not my most like powerful character. And we'll do silver, and then we'll do Bronya. Where are you, Bronya? Okay. A canonical team with Zila and Trailblazer. Do you want me to replace silver with, with, uh, with Trailblazer? But I feel like that's not a good team comp. No heals. I don't need heals. Watch this. Watch this awesome move. This is Farag's turf. Where to now? Don't worry, just follow. You me. guys, listen. You need to find a mechanic called You don't Cassie need first. heals if you hit I them hit harder. Before. This way. You're acting like I don't have the strongest Zila in like NA right now. Oh, let me change. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. <sighs> Look at you're finally here. I've been waiting for you for ages. Relax, bro. I'm a man of my word. Relax. And these two are... <gasps> oh, Miss Zila. Oh. <clears throat> to, to think that two senior wildfire members are uh, concerned Look at this Gohan looking ass. They just came along to help. Don't mind them. Okay. Just tell us exactly I have the strongest E0 Zila. Okay, okay. The moment she has a rerun, I'm e6ing her, okay? Listen, I was convinced I was gonna be free to play when I started the game. <laughs> Stuff happened. <laughs> this may sound strange, but I'm an amateur mechanic. I, I like collecting scrap in my free time, doing odd jobs, like putting robots. Wait, this guy's voice acting is so fun. But, but a few days ago, two of my robots suddenly disappeared. They were my pride and joy. I, I usually leave them in the tent when I head out. Everyone in the settlement knows each other. This has never happened before. Someone must have set their sights on my robots and stolen them while I was gone. Oh my god, how could they do that? I'm I so sorry, Cassidy. Did they change the programming? Oh, but that's not possible. Maybe they just went out for a walk together. Why isn't that possible? Yeah, maybe they hey, went for a walk. Around. <laughs> Can't you tell I have a serious <laughs> problem on my hands? What if they went for a walk? Let's see. Two robots. Do you have any clues? Any reasonable guesses? We need to have an opening to start the investigation. Not really. Mm. But here's the most mysterious part of all this. One of the machines they stole was a drone. I, I call it Little Faye. Little, Little Faye has an alarm that 
buzzes non-stop as soon as any unauthorized people get close. It's guaranteed to wake up the entire settlement. Bruh. But I didn't hear little Faye's alarm at all. I still can't figure out how that happened. Okay, I guys, I know exactly what happened to the robots. So little Faye had a boy a boyfriend robot or a girlfriend robot, we don't discriminate here. Um called little little day. And and so little Faye dis disarmed their alarm system so that they could go on a date with little day and and then they ran away together because cassidy was being an overbearing uh father figure and so and so she just wanted to be free that's exactly what happened you're welcome maybe it stopped working maybe there's a true robotics master in the settlement <laughs> trust me i know the people here it's extremely unlikely damn he said they're all dumb huh. Drone that was supposed to sound an alarm suddenly went silent. Worth remembering. Anything else? Let me think. Oh, there is one other thing, but I don't know if it's useful. Uh, Little Faye also has a tracker. If it gets too far from Big Ben, oh, uh, oh, Big, Big Ben is the name of the other. Robot. Okay, I wasn't that far with if Little Day. Distance between them. Little Faye will automatically start routing and fly to Big Ben's location. Uh, that's all, I suppose. I tried to find clues myself, but I don't know where to start. This job needs real professionals. Mm-hmm. Cool. We've got this. Don't worry, bro. We promise we'll find your robots. I love how professional Luca's being right now. Don't worry, bro. We got this. Hey, how can you be so sure? Trust me, Zila. Don't worry, Cassidy. Wildfire's on the case. You just rest up here and don't let this ruin your day. What was that all about? You're 100% certain we're gonna find those robots for him? Yeah, Luca needs to learn the prime principle for life. Under promise and over deliver, you guys. There's some life advice for me, like from me to you, all right? Let's say you, you have a work project or a school project and you need to have it done by a certain day, all right? Or like you need to, like you need to give an expected date or, or something like a timeline. Always just under... Uh, you know under promise always be like it's gonna take me two weeks when you know for a fact it's actually gonna take you three days you're gonna finish it in that three days because we don't we don't procrastinate kids okay the faster you do something the faster you're done with it so just get rid of your work as soon as possible you get it done in those three days but you let it cook for another two days because you can't over ex you can't listen if you work too hard and too well, they're going to expect way too much from you. So you need to, you know, you need to set their expectations as well and allow yourself that breathing room so you don't want to like off yourself from working corporate life. Listen, I'm, I'm speaking from experience here. And you tell them two weeks, you finish it in three days, you relax for the next three to four days and you give it in two days early. And that is how you you gain the system because now they're like wow she finished it early but you also got that relaxation time once you finish the project because the key here you guys is to finish the project first and then relax all right <laughs> mina the laid off corpo give me hey hey do you need to bring off the fact that i got laid off i listen i'm, I'm taking that as an opportunity to be like hey it was my time to go full-time streamer and you know we're doing pretty well as a full-time streamer right now all right you, you have to you have to bring up the fact that i got laid off i got laid off because of ai <laughs> my art job got taken from me <laughs> but it's fine it's whatever it's fine it's fine it's 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 fine slow down, it was months Zilla. ago listen to my analysis first yeah fuck ai bro <laughs> But it's, it's, it's whatever. I feel so much better not working a 9 to 5. Hi, I'm here after watching your videos of how Mama reacted to Genshin and Honkai Star World characters. Welcome in! Thank you so much for, for checking me out here on Twitch from YouTube. I really do appreciate that. Seriously, to all the YouTube bros, thank you guys so much for coming here to Twitch. I really do appreciate that. It's a big job to steal two robots without anyone noticing, especially when one of them has an alarm... I'm guessing that our thief friend never Art, even didn't you major in forensic science? What are you, the cops? Who who works in their degree? <laughs> I used to be a um a uh shit, what was my job? Uh, a production artist at a t-shirt company where I would take um the art provided by customers and then I would essentially put it into Illustrator and vectorize it to get ready for screen printing. 
But then they found a way to streamline it with AI and outsourcing. So then Home Girly Pop and like 70% of the department got laid off. But it's fine. It was good. It was honestly, I'm a lot happier right now. But you have a forensic science degree. Okay. And what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? You, do you want me to go work in a lab? Oh, no. Okay, guys. Look, look, okay, listen, 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 listen. So they told everyone that 70% of the people were going to get laid off. And then you could volunteer if you wanted to leave first. Or you could wait it out and see if you made it till the end. I knew that because that they were going to be cutting so many people, the workload was going to increase exponentially without any pay increase as well. So... I took it upon myself to be like, hey, I want to be the first person to leave. Like, I want to leave because um, I just didn't want to deal with, like, the fallout of just having to, like, pick up the slack of 70% of the department. And so I, I, I was talking to my manager about it, and I was like, okay, like, I, I want to leave. Like, I, I, want to, I want to yeet. But I wanted to make sure I still got severance because I, if I have to leave, I'm taking something with me. So I did leave on my own terms, and I got to pick my end date as well. And that's why I, I left. I knew I had streaming as a backup. And so that's when I made up my mind, like, okay, I'm gonna go full-time streamer mode or in full-time content creator in general. And I'm gonna give myself one year to fully dedicate it into this and see what happens. And if I feel like I have done something in this last year, I will continue on with, with streaming indefinitely. And if I feel like I really don't think this is sustainable for the rest of my life, I'll go back and find another corporate job. Right now, um, I'm very grateful, especially for like everyone who's watching and listening right now. Like genuinely, thank you guys for, for watching. Because the channel has like tripled in size since I went full time, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys. It's only been a few months and, and you guys have been helping. Like you guys being here for me ha has been awesome. So thank you guys for that. But we're going to focus on the quest now, okay? This is eventually going to be a YouTube video, so. You mean... I think. The thief knew that little Faye had an alarm, so they decided to break it. But then, wouldn't it have, wouldn't it have screamed before they broke it? But they also knew that Cassidy could fix little Faye and use its tracker function to find Big Ben. The thief must have tossed the broken drone somewhere and only made off with Big Ben. Hey, why are you both looking at me like that? Say something. <laughs> uh whoa hold up that sounds sus you didn't do it did you <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> no no that's not a real line no no <laughs> i love the localization team so much oh my god it does make sense what do you think zila Whoa! Hold on, I have to read that in David Kun's voice. <clears throat> Whoa there, uh, hold up. Uh, that sounds sus. You didn't do it, did you? <laughs> so, you agree with my reasoning, right? So, you do have a brain somewhere in all that muscle. Although, I actually, um, I, can, I, I don't agree with his logical uh, analysis. I, I do think that in order to break the alarm, you would actually have to get close to the robot, which would thus, you know sound the alarm they had to have used some kind of like transmitter to at least nullify the robot to get close enough to break it before that they could like you know go on with like the rest of like the plan but you know <laughs> i'm not just biceps and steel you know well if you all agree with what i said let's go prove it missing drones are a bit of a regular occurrence down here come on move those legs luca do you often find stuff for other people? Seems like it. Kids always come to me when they lose stuff. <laughs> no wonder. Man, this area is so run down. I don't want to live here. I feel the like here he's scrawnier. But they've got no other choice. We can change that, right? <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, I used to do Muay Thai. Guys, that used to be me. Alright, where am I going? Find the Robo Friends. Is this one a Robo Friend? No. Um. That's a Robo Friend. Oh, look! There's a drone over there! But how can we tell if it's the one Cassidy lost? Here, look. 
Someone deliberately scratched off the paintwork. <laughs> Didn't even do a good job of it. Damn. Oh, you're right. You've got a good eye, Zila. Whoever did it must have been in a hurry. We need to fix this little guy up. Can you lend a hand? What if I just said no? God, sometimes I wish I could just say no to see the reaction and then do it. Oh, no! It's fine. These puzzles are usually kind of easy. It's fine. They're easy, guys. It's easy. <laughs> the little one can fly again. These, these puzzles are fine. It's the other ones that are evil. Oh, little Faye. <laughs> we really found it. Pretty lucky, if you ask me. Scanning for signal from Big Ben. Oh, listen. That must be the tracking system Cassidy mentioned. Where's Big Ben? Signal is he in England? Down. Big Ben is currently too far away from this unit. Tracking function must be enabled. It really does have a tracking function. Let's see how useful it is. Well, obviously not that useful if it's out of range. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hey, it's, it's flying away. Follow it. We're going. Bro, this is kind of a fast robot. Look, that fellow over there is acting pretty shifty. Oh, is that Big Ben? He's gotta be the... Is that Big hey, Ben? Friend. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Before, I, before Big, ben, Big Ben talks... <laughs> Who's oh shit. There? Wait, shit, 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 shit. Okay, okay, okay. You guys. Before Big Ben speaks, one in chat if you think it's gonna be British. Two in chat if it's not going to be British. I really hope it's British. I want it to be like, hey yo, bruv. Pip pip cheerio, mate. I want it. I want it to be British so badly. Please, it's named Big Ben. Like, 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 do British people exist in Bellabog? Is that like a thing? There's like that one bridge that had all like the British voice actors on it. But I don't I don't know if I don't know if like Like does it make sense for for like Gorilla 6 to to have different accents if everyone on the planet only speaks one language? There wouldn't be multiple types of accents then, right? Cuz really people only have accents because they speak other languages and then like you know then they speak like a different language and the accent comes out. But if everyone only technically speaks one language, then there shouldn't be an accent. What do you mean lies? A red ribbon? What? Wildfire? Huh. Uh, how did you... I'm doing just fine. <laughs> no monsters around here. Why don't you uh, go bother someone else? Shying away from honest work. I mean dialects, yeah, but kind. not like accents. Of course you're doing just fine. I like how they just didn't even bother trying to conceal it as like suspicious man. It's just nervous uh, thief. I'm not sure this falls under petty crimes, Zila. That whole robot he's got next to him. <laughs> it's Big Ben, all right. I do, oh, hold on a second. Who told you the name of this robot? What? Don't tell Bro. me it's... Dude. You, you couldn't play it off like, oh, who's Big Ben? This is big, big, big m men? That's right. Cassidy sent us here. Hand over what you stole or be prepared to face the fist of a champion. <laughs> fist of a champion, huh? <laughs> big Fen, what is it? Far? Like Don I'll Hung, Don Fung? My face around here if news gets out. Do your worst. Big Ben, let's get him. Going all the way, huh? <laughs> Enough talk then. Luca, let's get him. I like how the guy just said, let's get him. And then and then Zila's like, no, 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 no. I must have the last word here. Let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Here, let me punch some sense into you. Like, <laughs> not just... <laughs> The guy said, let's My get him. <laughs> and they were like, no, we're going to get you instead. And yeah, and then Luca's like, actually, let's get them. <laughs> All right. Time for a buzz. 
Why does she never implement quantum? I swear to God. I'm going to go mono quantum like strictly so Silverwolf can, can plant quantum damage. Like, that's all I want. You're cooking. Give it up. You're no match for us. I, I can't turn back now. You got guts. Time to end this. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Mono quantum and still won't apply quantum, I know. Spare me! Please! All of you! I, I shouldn't have stolen anything! I, I admit! Give me a second chance! <laughs> You're admitting defeat? What happened to all that bravado you had a few moments ago? The Multamerville warrior. Ah, oh, he's cute. The peerless boulder Ah, oh, he's stupid! Upholding justice and peace once again! <laughs> Is this how is this how everyone else feels when Stell says out of pocket shit, bro? The first step of the champion's training is complete. We're so done with it. Huh? Why are you two so straight faced? <laughs> the Malta Merville Warrior. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what was all that supposed to be? No, that. Oh no, he's stupid. Don't take it too seriously. Let's get Big Ben back to Cassidy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Let's finish up here. But I'm gonna put it out there. We're not gonna forget those lines of yours anytime soon. <laughs> that is so funny. I like that Luca looks a lot more... Uh, he's a lot more playful, I think, than I was expecting. Especially since in the light cones... Let me see if I can look at them right now. Where is he? Where is him being shirtless? Um, he looks a lot more serious here than he does like as like an actual character, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that he's just like he's 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 just dumb, like dumb in like a cute way. Like this Luca and the Luca we are talking to are not the same. Look at that free to play selection. <laughs> Shut up. I am the most... Look, there's barely any five-star light cones. I don't know what you're talking... There's not even a full row of them. I really hate that this is S2 and this is S3, though. That, this, just, this just makes me so upset. You only have one? That sounds like a skill issue. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Big Ben. Hey, buddy. Uh, hello? I'm, I'm sorry. Please. I I've reset its systems. It won't attack you anymore. Just get it out of here. Take it back to its owner. Oh, it can't stay here anymore. Hey, did you guys know that when you follow me, Minayama, at twitch.tv slash Minayama, your luck in Star Rail goes up by 20%? Do you guys know that? I'm not lying. I would never lie. I was the heir at Hoyoverse. <laughs> but when you subscribe, your luck goes up by 42%. Isn't that insane? Prime subs count. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Please. Bro, let me talk to I'm Big Ben. Uh... Oh, Big Big Ben, Big Ben, please please speak to me. Beep boop. Beep boop. Guys, beep boop. Big Ben misses. <gasps> Big Ben wants to talk with little Faye. Big Ben wants to play with Cassidy. Oh, Big Ben! Go home. Go home. He has a big voice. I like the little noise, like. I think you can make a beat, like. This beat is kind of done. I think it's been a done. Dun 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 Okay. Is it an ET reference, bro? Okay, I'm old, but I genuinely don't remember. <laughs> Beep boop. Cassidy. Beep boop. Little Faye. Cassidy. Cassidy. Little Faye. Cassidy. Adorable. Freaking adorable, man. I don't know how I can ever take you, Luca, Sila. This outsider, my life can finally get back on track now. 
can finally get back on track now. See? I kept my word, right? Wildfire senior members always deliver what we promise. Hell yeah, I brother. How did you, Luca? I'll remember this forever. Yeah, go ahead. We'll catch up later. Where's Miyu to program Big Ben when you need her? Bro, Miyu would would destroy Big Ben. Ah, oh, it felt great. Such a wholesome feeling to help other people, don't you think? To be honest, I think you could have handled it yourself. You said this was the first step, right? So just how many steps does your training have exactly? Three. Just three steps. A three step Try. program. Don't take too much of your time. I thirst for battle. <laughs> what is this game? What is this? Where to next? I thirst for battle. I care more about what I can get as rewards. Well, I thirst for battle. <laughs> I like your spirit. Shame I didn't run into you sooner. Let's go. Next, we're gonna clear up all the fragmentum cronies still left in the settlement. Sounds like a Baldur's Gate 3 line. I know. Huh? Fragmentum? But the settlement wasn't affected by fragmentum, right? You're not wrong. Fisher here only recently opened up. Oh. Master Oleg got the intel from our network just yesterday. I asked him to leave this case to me. Perfect for the second step of our training, right? Ugh, like master, like student. I admire your attitude. In any case, if this concerns the fragment, I'm just imagining there's no time to lose. when Luca's an old man. The monsters. Lead the and way. he's gonna be the new Oleg, and then he's gonna have like like a new student that he's gonna have as his favorite, even though you're not really supposed to state that you have favorite students, but whatever. And it's gonna be really cute. Way ahead of you. Follow me. All right. Remove the fragmentum enemies from the fragmentum. Okay. Luca, come clean with me. Are you here for some other reason? It's just training for real. It's not like you to be so suspicious, Zila. That's so sus, Luca. Luca, that's so Say, sus. How did you sell your beef with Sparog? Tell me the juicy details. Ugh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. Yeah, she got a girlfriend, and they defeated Sparog with the power of Yuri. That's the TLDR of Bellabog. There's so many of them. Are you sure the fissure only recently opened up? Our intel should have been accurate. Seems like Boss Farog must have let his guard down. These guys are messing up his turf. They should call him Boss Rog. It's about a Boss Farog. Enough talk. Let's clean up this area. That's not how you remembered it. Do we play the same game, bro? Falcon Punch! Easy clap. You took the bait. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, now you do quantum? Lend me your strength. I'm sick of- I'm sick of- Every time I use Silver Wolf, I, I'm sick of her. She- she just like, had the best trailer and then actively commits crimes against me as an individual. Illusions of the past. I told you guys about that one time I was on a trip with my friends. And I was doing my Star Rail dailies on my phone. And like... Obviously, I use Zila because she's my main. And her ult is always up, constantly. It's just always up because, you know, we got that sexy energy reach, uh, uh, regen. And uh, so I'm playing it. I have, like, speaker on. It's not that loud, but you can still hear it. And both of my, like, normie friends who do not play video games, the entire rest of the trip are just, like, disappear among the sea of butterflies. And then, like, the other one would go, illusions of the past. I could not escape. It's like, I hear it all the time when I play the game. And then I was hearing it in real life, like, on a vacation, like, from my friends. I want to be up this guy, too. For all the rewards. And then, like, one of my, my friends enemy. was just giving her a British accent. Because she kept saying, like, illusions of the past. I'm like, she's not British. Disappear among the sea of See? butterflies. Illusions of the past. I hear it in my sleep. Yes. I hear that in boom. Let the sparks fly.
The robo arm kind of like low key reminds me of Gundam Witch from Mercury because the character has a robo arm there. <sighs> no wonder these minions are so active. There's a big fella hiding behind them. So this guy is the source of it all, right? <laughs> if we take him out, the fragmentum activity in this area should subside for a while. Hell yeah, brother. And trial two will be complete. I wonder what's gonna happen at the third trial. <laughs> That's right. What's up? Starting to get into it, Zila? <laughs> it's been too long since I had a good workout. This will be a nice warm up. This is cute. I love friendship. Right. We'll charge in once you're ready. Onward. Did someone say trial Saturday already? I know, right? Okay, I'll actually I'll put my OC into this one. <laughs> Time for a buzz. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. Okay, we'll do this. Really, Pop, where's your ult? Oh god, maybe I should have brought a healer. Small fry. Step out of it. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. Easy clap, easy clap. And then she's gonna one shot. Illusions of the past. Hell yeah. Why'd you put friendship in quotation marks? I don't ship these two. These two are friends. Easy clap. Ooh, that was a tough one. Good teamwork, guys. Hell yeah. They're high fiving you guys. That you just can't see it. They forgot to animate it, but I promise they're high fiving. Luca, is that everything? Oh, what's what's wrong? The War. Oh no. Oh no. The peerless boulder champion. Defeater of evil throughout the world. He has the stupid little like three face as well. <laughs> Is this some kind of performance art? Defeater of evil throughout the world. Don't copy him. <laughs> Seriously, why are you so hyped up today? This is so cute. <laughs> Guys. It's just a normal victory celebration. This is chat so every time I make a joke. Every single time I make a, like a, like one of like the, uh, what is it? Like imbibitor, I hardly know her jokes. This is you guys. You're constantly booing me. And I'm and I, I keep doing it until someone laughs. You call that normal? I might have let it slide if it was in the cage. On second thought, no. That was cringe even by <laughs> Fight Club standards. No, not Zila calling him cringe, bro. <laughs> L plus ratio plus your cringe plus you have no maidens plus you're not actually the champion because I can beat your ass in the club any day of the week. <laughs> Dude, guys, unironically, imagine Zila on like 4chan. I think that'd be so funny. She'd be just if Bellabog had a Reddit, oh my god, I think she would destroy. Someone be like would ask a question and she'd be like, "Are you stupid? Use your mind for a second. How about that?" Ah, don't get so worked up, Zila. I'm thinking clearly. Plus, didn't we just get rid of another major threat to the underworld? True, but quit changing the subject. <laughs> this new routine of yours is just... Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I promise you, it'll only last till the end of my training. What? Actually, have I been making too many promises today? That's not a good habit. Hey, at least he's self-aware. Anyway, there's only one more step in my training plan. Come on, guys. Help me wrap it up. <sighs> Guess we're in too deep. Better let it run its course. So the final oh, step in this training is to challenge Boss Sparrog. What? Wait, no, wait, hey, 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 hey. Sparrog's a good guy. Oh boy. Nice! Count me in. <laughs> I love the freaking face palms. Also, I think it's really cute that they put noise. Especially since Stell in her like idol is like noise. 
think that's a really cute... Let's beat up Claire. Why would you want to beat up Clara? Clara is a sweet little girl and you want to beat her up. All she does is like, help me, Mr. Sparrog. Wow, you just want to beat up Clara when she's literally done nothing wrong at all? She's just been really close with Mr. Sparrog and you're, you're being really mean to her? That's not very pog champ. <laughs> that's not that's not very that's not very poggers of you to do that too far down yes officer the the chat the man is right there i want to see clara like insult someone though i want to see her go like um l plus ratio you have no bitches <laughs> but you're okay to beat up yanjing yeah he deserves it <laughs> Clara has done nothing wrong. Bro, she doesn't have shoes. You can't beat her up. Oh, boy. Nice. I think I want to say nice because I think it's just really funny to say noise. But, but oh, boy is like, is how I'm feeling. I'm going to say, oh, boy. Are you sure you're thinking clearly? Whoa, whoa, stay cool, Zila. Like I said, I'm thinking clearly. Every word I said is serious. I set this as the final goal of my training a few days ago. Think about it. Is there any underworld opponent worth challenging more than Boss Sparog? Oh no, I can't agree to this. <laughs> You're asking for trouble. Forget about winning or losing. The relationship between Wildfire and Sparog only just got patched up. Yeah, politically it's not the best move right now, Luca. I'm not gonna rile him up. Don't make this more complicated than it is. I'm just inviting him to have a fair fight with me, like how you'd have in the cage. Are you mad? <laughs> Svarog is a robot. He doesn't understand the rules of the cage. He's different from us. His fists are made of steel. I mean, half of his fists are made of steel. Nah, that means we're evenly matched, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> you know what I mean. Don't act smart with me. <laughs> you don't make any sense. <laughs> is is Zila? Is she being robophobic? <laughs> is is Zila doing robophobia right now? <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Zila. But you know, I'm a fighter. It's my duty to keep training. Although I do think Sparrug would understand what a scrimmage is. So like, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's a terrible feeling to have a powerful opponent in your head, but never be able to get close to him. It's all thanks to your patching things up with Sparrug that I'm able to have this opportunity now. I'm not going to miss it for the world. <sighs> what if he said no? Let him do it. Sparrug might go easy because we're here. Hmm. All right, fine. We'll go find Svarog and have a nice chat with him. Oh my god, I miss Svarog. Let me say this first. If he doesn't want to deal with you as a challenger, then we're getting out of there ASAP. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll convince him. But you're right. If he's not in the mood for it, then I won't force him. Oh my god, yes, King. Understanding consent? I haven't really worked with Boss Svarog before, so please, lead the way. Let's go. All right, where's Svarog? Help me, Mr. Svarog. Oh no, Mr. Svarog. Wait, wrong way. Whoopsie daisy. I have to go up the elevator. Luca, you... Hmm? What's up? <sighs> Never mind. I get the feeling I'm wasting my breath. <laughs> when are we going to get a, a, a Zila and a Bronya companion quest, though? I feel as though we should have gotten them already. Unless, unless you guys, and here's my, my big boy theory that I've been theorizing since like one point. Since whenever we left Bellabog, I've been theorizing this. But I think the reason we actually haven't gotten a Zila or a Bronya companion quest is because 
we're gonna go back to Bellabog, all right? There's gonna be another crisis that's gonna happen in Bellabog, which which has the Trailblazers or Astral Express go back to Bellabog, and 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 and, and there's gonna be some kind of turmoil. But there's gonna be it, like like within the government turmoil, all right? And it's gonna be Zila versus Bronya until like they they figure out how to patch up their issues by communication. You guys learn to communicate, but we're gonna we're gonna you know deal with those issues, and then once that gets settled, we'll get a companion quest with both of them. But then, and then they're gonna kiss. Yeah, they're gonna make up by kissing. But like, they're gonna have a little miscommunication first, okay? Fanfics. It, the fanfics write themselves at this point. Yeah, a lover's quarrel. Exactly. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Have you talked to Oleg about going to see Svarog? <laughs> That's all you wanna ask? I don't necessarily tell Master Oleg everything, you know. <sighs> <laughs> that was such a real sigh, bro. <laughs> Wait, that was such a good sigh from her. I I felt the levels of annoyance like from that sigh. Like that is that was a true sigh. Oh my god, hi Sparog. The Trailblazer, Zila of Wildfire, and in order to meet you, Boss Farag, I'm Luca, hey. a senior member of Wildfire, just like Zila. Um, no, Clara. Isn't canonically Clara has been spending a lot of time with Serval? Like, if I'm, I, I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure Clara and like took up a, like a really big interest in like engineering and stuff, and like Serval has been helping her out. I could be misremembering and and swapping things with like a fanfic i read but i'm pretty sure that's what happened or at least that's like some of it because i like, didn't um serval say something about that in her companion quest it's been a while since i've done it accessing backend database querying query complete luca born in maltamerville winner of the 28th boulder town fight king challenge Beloved student of Oleg. Beloved student. Wildfire. Oh, wow. Impressive. <laughs> Thank you for saving me the self-introduction. Luca of Wildfire, what is the purpose of your visit? Straight to the point. Just the way I like it. I'm here to challenge you, boss Svarog. Oh, this is a different voice actor for Svarog. Challenge. Yeah, he sounds deeper. I feel like the other Svarog was more, um, you know, like like soft in a way. Like there was a there was a gentleness to his voice. Intent unclear. Outsider, Zila of Wildfire, can you provide an explanation? Not really. He might have hit his head. Just accept. Uh, he's the one who came up with this idea. It's up to you to accept it or not, Svarog. Soft. Yeah, he had a um a very like gentle voice, I think is the best way to put it. Like there was a gentleness to it. Yeah, it's a little bit more gravelly right now. Yep, it's not it's still good though. I just want to go a few rounds with the one everyone agrees is the most powerful in the underworld and see where I stand. What do you say? Are you interested? Bro, I kinda want Trailblazer to beat up Luca. Just to humble him a little bit. I just feel like it'd be a little fun. Be like you know, rules are made to be broken. And then, like, like bash him, <laughs> like, with a baseball bat. I just think that'd be really fun. Evaluating. And, like, you just hear, like, the comical little bonk down. Intention unclear. Enmity level zero. <laughs> Lie detection passed. Evaluation completed. The opposing party only came to spar. I agree to fight oh? you, Luca of Wildfire. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Evie, thank you so much for the raid, cutie. Hello, my love. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What were you doing? Hi, right, guys, go check out Evie. Evie's awesome. She's from down under. Evie! Evie sent me Shadowheart fan art earlier, and I was genuinely so happy about it. You were honking the rails. Did you finish the 1.3 story quest? Did you see the ending? That was freaking crazy, man. It was crazy, isn't it? 
But thank you so much for the raid, you guys. Please go check out Evie. Uh, if you if you haven't already, please please go do that. Um, here, Evie, uh, for the raid, I will I will give you guys I will give you guys a um, a, a kazoo, a, a nice a nice wholesome family friendly kazoo for the raid. I, I hope you guys are prepared. <clears throat> so much for the raid evie i hope you guys enjoyed the um iconic an iconic song known as never gonna get give you up by rick astley performed by me minayama on the kazoo we're no strangers to that song <laughs> all right would you guys prefer um <clears throat> well since I feel like I feel like you guys weren't well receiving that song nearly as much as you should have. Um, one second. I'll I'll give you something. I will I will simply I'll I'll give you something that will that that you guys will like. I don't I don't know if you guys are truly ready for this though. <clears throat> Shit, hold on, I need to restart, hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed my rendition of My Heart Will Go On. On the recorder, yes, that was on the recorder. That was for Tingen. I, I hope I hope you guys appreciated that well. I, I worked very hard learning learning those notes. What do you mean where are the ads when we need them? What's that supposed to mean? I'll play it on kazoo for you. Thank you so much, Evie. I love you guys. Go check out Evie, she's awesome. If weapons and All right, let's continue with the quest. Oh, we're doing Luca's story quest right now. If you guys haven't done it, you don't want spoilers. I totally get it. But yeah, Evie, thank you again for the raid. Periodic use will reduce such risk and extend the life of these components. <laughs> what? That's the worst excuse I've ever heard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I told you I could convince him. Bruh. You could be a referee, Zila. You know the rules of the club, inside out. You know the rules, and so do I. I Sorry. <sighs> Zila being a pushover is my favorite thing. It's so funny. Fine, I get it. If you insist. Competitors, take up position. She's like, no, I don't want to do it. No. And then she's like, all right, if we're doing this, I'll be serious. Take up positions, competitors. Let's talk to her first. Oh, I can't talk to <laughs> I really can't tell whose side you're on. <laughs> Aw. Oh wait, she's cheering for both. Wait, Stel Stel didn't even pick a side. She says, "Go, Luca, go, Sparog." Oh my god! Oh my god, Sparog! I'm ready, Sparog. We can start any time. I too have a question, Luca of Wildfire. How did you acquire your mechanical arm? I love the idea, Sparog, just referring to people by their titles. Zila of Wildfire, Luca of Wildfire. Trailblazer of the Astral Express. <laughs> I'm honored to be one of the things in the underworld that even you don't know about. This arm? Well, that's not that exciting. It's all because I got distracted in a defense campaign. I can't even remember the date of that fight. More importantly, it was only after losing my arm that I found the meaning of life. What it really feels like Aww. to be alive. Wait, that's so cute. Mina Aoyama of Twitch, Mina of Whale. No, 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 you guys. I am Mina of Preservation from how many defense substats I get. That's why I'm standing here right now, to feel alive. And also for everyone who put their hope and faith in me. Excellent answer. I will treat this challenge seriously. Luca of Wildfire. Aww. In the blue corner. 
Svarog from the robot settlement. Are you ready? Do you think she chose Svarog to be in the blue corner because he's blue? And and then I assume Luca's gonna be in the red corner because he is in fact red. Ready. In the red corner! Luca from Multamerville! Are you ready? <laughs> she sounds so dumb! <laughs> Did you guys hear the amount of annoyance in her voice just saying that? Like, oh my god, I got like shivers, dude. <laughs> like... Whenever you are. Okay. It's a no holds barred contest. <laughs> one round only. Victory will be declared when one contestant submits, or the fight is stopped by the referee. All right. Fight. Fight. Let's see some sparks fly. That sounds like the title of a pop song. Oh, it's 1v1. Oh, God. Ooh, the music? I'm just getting started. Don't get cocky now. What do you say, get cocky now? An opponent that can take the punches head on. This feels a little unfair. Powerful strike. But not enough to break my defenses. Wait, this feels a little That's unfair. Why I call you Boss Farag. How about this? Cause like, listen, he hit me twice. He's already a third out of his HP. I hit him once. He's at two percent. Opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly. Calculating the salt. Ooh. Um. Um. I could take you one arm only. Snap out of it. Um. Um. Executing operation. You gotta keep fighting. <laughs> Not bad. Wait, do I have the power of being a protagonist? Ten, nine, eight, seven. No way. What? I'm a long way from what is now. this cheating? What? Okay. Okay. The power of being a protagonist at the minute. What is this plot armor? Never back down, never white! <laughs> never back down! Um, I thought this was a 1v1. Ex excuse me. Um, excuse me, Mr. Svarog. I, I thought this was a, a excuse me, Mr. Svarog. Where's the applause? <laughs> I thought this was a one v one. Worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some he saw Luca fly. was missing a hand and said he was gonna he was gonna give him one. Ooh, wait, what? How did that happen? How did I do that? Ooh. The winner has been decided. Ooh. Enough, Luca. Let's end it here. No. It's not over. It's I not must over. Show you. Back in the ring. Oh, I got an achievement. This. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not the 54. Not the 54 HP, bro. Let's see some sparks. Make a strong impression, Luca of Wildfire. <laughs> oh my God! For this fight. Aww. <sighs> Thanks. But it's not. It's not over. over. Never back down. Never what? <laughs> oh, not the one HP. Never give up. I can't. Aww. Luca of Wildfire, it does not matter why you came here. I acknowledge your strength. Aww. Your appearance was enough to make me reevaluate the limits of humanity. Bro, if someone told me, like, I acknowledge your strength, or just, like, I acknowledge your hard work, I think I would break. Like, as an individual, 
I think I would just like break down crying. <laughs> That's really. Aww. Damn, he passed out, bro. To be fair, he did get three lives. Oh my god, Nat's here. <clears throat> I need to sit up. One second. <clears throat> hey, Nat. It's been a while. Um, you don't have to worry about the patient. He's fine. So how are you? How are the kids? I... <laughs> You're finally awake. You've been out for the whole day. We were really worried. Don't worry, Zila. Like I said, it was just the exhaustion. Svarog God, was I deliberately love, I holding I love back. Nat, bro. <sighs> Zila. And Nat? I'm in the clinic okay can i talk about one pet peeve i have about this game as a whole can they just like not even include our inputted name here if they're not even gonna bother like saying it they could just say zila you and nat they don't like like why why add the line there to begin with and then just ignore it just just remove it completely just say zila and nat like you you don't you don't even have to you don't even have to include the the trailblazer in this sentence uh, but baby girl, it's your story. No! Where else? You think we'd leave you on Svarog's turf? Why put baby girl? It sounds so bad. I'll show you why after this. <laughs> uh, thank you all. I feel much better now. Sorry, Nat. I must have wasted your time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Luca. Still, whatever your motivation was, I hope you can find a different outlet for it. Aw, what therapy? We can we can get therapy. Uh, I'm not gonna let you off like that easy. <laughs> There's more to this story. You need to explain what the heck got into you today. Wait, <laughs> Nat's like all like trying to be understanding, like oh whatever, like you're going through, like I hope you have like a better outlet. And Celia's like no. <laughs> Not on my watch. Svarog hit pretty hard. The victory slogan of yours. Why did you insist on fighting Svarog? Well, I have to go with the victory slogan. The one good thing about you losing is that we didn't have to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're always so serious. I've said it before. This is my trip. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, slow down. You haven't completely recovered. Zila, don't pressure him. Let him rest. <sighs> Thanks, Nat. But I'm almost recovered. He says, coughing to death. I have some things to do. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're... I wonder what's going on. I wonder what his demons are. Let him go, Zila. He has to go really through puberty right it. now. Bro is just being a bit of a weeb. What? Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 There is no way. What? I love this. I love this so much. Bro is just being a bit of a weeb, bro. Kind of cringe. XD lol. Well, I have to press it. I have to. It's like they give me these options. And like, the, yes, there's a series of options that I would want to press. But then they give me bros just being a bit of a weeb. And then I have to, I have to do it. I just, I have to do it. What's that supposed to mean? Um... I don't know how to explain that, and I don't want to either, so we're going to move on. If he never intended to explain <laughs> anything to us, why did he drag us along? No, this is too weird. I'm going to follow him and see what he's up to. 
Is it really that necessary? Keep me updated. Um, we should... Hmm... I feel like it's good if someone goes and talks to him because he obviously needs some kind of outlet to talk to. And so we should be supportive and say, keep me updated. But I also feel like she'll yell at me if I say, is that really necessary? And I kind of want her to yell at me. So like, which one should I pick? Hmm. I'm gonna say, is that really necessary? I can't just let it go. Luca didn't used to be like this. You're not too busy these days, right? I'll give you a shout if I need help. Okay, you could just text me. You don't. You don't have to shout. If you must, Zila, try not to worry. I don't want to see you two fighting. Don't worry. God, Nat. I love Nat. Now that they've left, I have a favor to ask you. I will do anything you ask, Nat. It's easy for Luca to get ahead of himself sometimes, but I've never seen him this headstrong. Could you ask Oleg how Luca's been recently? I haven't seen much of him lately. It's hard for me to get the full picture. Since you, I, I love this game. Oh my god, this makes every single defense artifact I've ever gotten suddenly worth it. It's like this game knows. It's like this game knows what I want to pick as a human being. It, it knows my motivations. Since you asked, yes, I am a simp for Natasha, 150%. She asked me to do anything, and I will do it. I genuinely believe, like, Natasha has, like, like the Trailblazers dialogue towards Natasha is the most down bad. Because, like, I feel like Stella, like, like, you get, like, the funny options everywhere. But, like, the truly down bad ones are only in, re like, in regards to Natasha, and it's so funny. Thank you. Regardless of what's really going on, I hope none of you let small things get in the way of your friendship. See you. <laughs> and she said baby girl, but you guys just couldn't hear it. Only I could hear it. For some reason, Twitch didn't, didn't catch her saying baby girl. It was really good, though. All right. Have to go see what's up. And it's not just the sky. Hey, Oleg. Where you find people, you find wildfire. What? That's not what he just said. The guy, the, like, okay, I know the meme is VTubers can't read. But, like, that's not what he just said. <laughs> that is, what? <laughs> that was a threat? Yeah. Bro, what? <laughs> All right, thank, thank, thank you. Thanks. Oh, my student, did something happen recently? Um, yeah. I was yeah. wondering why he didn't come to see me after the championship match ended. Come, tell me about it. Oh, he sounds so worried. You tell Oleg about everything that happened with Luca and Sila. Hmm. Bro, what's up with them? Strange. Luca usually doesn't Hold push on. himself so far. Hold on. What's up with Bella Bog and naming people with uh? Zila. Luca. Bronya. Natasha. Servala. Japarda. Pela. Pela's a good one. Clara. Kakolia. Svaraga. <laughs> Sampa. <laughs> Linksa. <laughs> <laughs> huh. He may be Hook a guy on the surface, <laughs> but he's got his secrets. Did he tell you about the origins of his mechanical arm? Uh, he mentioned something before he fought Svarov. Uh, then he probably didn't describe the scene in detail. That was six, seven years ago. I was patrolling with some comrades in the neighboring town of Multamerville. We passed an Mul ordinary mechanics shop. There was a serious looking fella looking after the shop. He was probably a few years younger than me, but his hair and beard were white as snow. There was a young lad oh. doing odd jobs. He looked pretty exhausted. Anyway, I convinced the shopkeeper to let him come with me. Wait, Ole just like stole a child? Luca was a fast learner. 
At first, I couldn't figure out if he liked what I was teaching him. Fighting, weapons, strategy, etc. Wait, wait, wait. He just saw a kid and he's like, you're coming with me, kid. His head down. Then, about a year after I took him in, Luca lost one of his arms while rescuing townsfolk from the Fragmentum in Multamerville. He almost didn't make it. Aww. He was unconscious for two or three days. I sat next to his bed, anxious and guilty. Guess what he said to me after he woke up? What'd he say? Master, I feel great. Wait, why did he call him master? Hold on, why did he call him master? I, I feel like, I feel like sir would have been a better, like, I don't know, a better word option. He had bandages all over his body. Most of his wounds hadn't healed yet. But it was the first time he'd ever smiled at me. Okay, that's cute. I still remember that expression. Is the master of uh, the moral of <laughs> the master of the story? Is the moral of the story? Okay, it's kind of like um. Oh shit! What's the word in Japanese? I forgot. Uh, uh, shisho, shiso, not sensei, but like um shit. It's what Kyo calls um his master in um in 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 fruits basket. Shiso. Yeah, Shiso. Yeah, yeah, Shiso, Shiso. Or is it Shisho? Shiso. Is it Shisho or Shiso? Sushi. I don't think it's sushi. She shell. She picked up she she shells on the she shore. It's Shisho? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I get a little carried away when I tell this story. <laughs> What I'm trying to say. God, is Luca oh, because it's an old man. I love him. More important than his own. That's how he's always been. So when he says stuff like "this is for training," that's probably a lie. He's hiding something from you, all right. God, all anyway, men do is lie. Be getting involved in this stuff. I'm sure you and Zila can sort this by yourselves. Uh, okay, Oleg. Thanks. One thing I will ask: please try not to embarrass him too much, okay? <laughs> he's the fighting champion of Boulder Town, after all. An idol for all the children. He needs to keep up that image. <laughs> I like his little laugh. Oh my god, we're getting a text. She listened to me and texted instead of screaming. You there? I found Luca. He's on the, his way to Rivet Town alone. Want to go there together? I'm coming. If we run... Wait, but I said... Wait, I said I'm coming. But she answered as if I said, will we make it there on time? Um, game? Hello? I chose the other option. <laughs> I guess I chose wrong. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, I actually have to... Yeah, we're just gonna waypoint there. I don't need to run all the way over there. I'm coming. Hey. Oh my god, I can't wait to see them interact again. Oh, you're here. Come on. He wasn't in a hurry, so we should be able to catch up easy enough. Oh, that wait. Is... Wait, no, I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry, I oh, misclicked. You're here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Look, there he is. Did you show that one guy why your name's Baby Girl? I'm so sorry, I forgot. Let's follow him. Stay quiet. Quiet is my middle name. Oh no, I'm really bad at stealth mode. I don't need to read instructions. Maybe I should have read instructions. Thank goodness we didn't lose him. Oh shit. Quick, let's keep up the chase. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. He he doesn't see us. Yeah, he can't see us. He can't see us. Oh, hey, that's too close. <laughs> Step back a bit. Zila, and you too? 
I'm not here. What are you guys doing here? Uh, I'm not Zila or Baby Girl. No, I am no. Tila. He caught us. Bruh. Look, there he is. Let's follow him. Guys, we just disappeared among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I, I never... This is my first time trying it. Whew, thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide okay, for a bit. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's hide for a bit. Oh, oh my god! buns, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Hold on. I'm being I'm being sneaky mode right now, but thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, hi guys, go check her out. What were you what were you doing? Were you playing Star Wheels? Were you being a Star Rail Gamer. Oh, Hook's here. Well, welcome in, Raiders. Wait, welcome in. That's... Hook. What's she doing here? Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Hook Plus. The Hook was the mastermind behind all of this. The moles are everywhere. Up to no good. Lucas should tell her to go back to town. He's always worrying after the kid's safety. We've come this far. We can't let this kid ruin everything. Shh, she's coming this way. Bro, that's me with Yan Chang every time he shows up on my account. <laughs> um, um oh, we, we were, we're not here. We're not here, kid. Shut up. <laughs> this, yo, kid, scram. We're not here. Again, Devon, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you had an absolutely amazing stream. Um, hi, hello everyone. My name is Vina. Uh, thank you for sharing your community with me. I really do appreciate that. Here's a kazoo. Here's a kazoo for you guys. <clears throat> And that was the Wii music. I hope you enjoyed that. But thank you so much for sharing your community with me. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you have an absolutely uh, amazing, amazing evening. I totally understand it. If you need to relax after a stream, I am usually extremely exhausted and go straight to sleep. So please, uh, you know, if you, if you need to go do what you got to do, uh, you can go do that. But thank you so much for sharing your community. Be quiet. You almost exposed us. Um, why are you sneaking around like this? Kids, shut up. We're looking for you. We're stalking. We're treasure hunting. We're stalking. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna lose him if we don't hurry. Hook, run back to town. Stop hanging around here. Uh, okay. That's what Lucas said too. It's kind of sussy that he's just standing there waiting for us. I hope you two find the treasure. I, I didn't, I, I didn't say anything about treasure. I chose the stalking option. What? I. I chose the stalking oh, option. Thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. Okay, we'll let him walk a little bit. No, I'm not here. Hey, 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 hey. This doesn't feel right. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why is he running? Why are you running? You don't see me. You don't see me. Is he going to the orphanage? This doesn't feel oh, right. Oh shit. Hey, let's hide for Why? A Why'd you stop there? Hey, 
Okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I was too close, okay, okay. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. That's so close. All right, I think I did it. Guys, this is the hardest part of the entire game. Dude, they're not even they're not even hiding anymore. Did he put something down? Let's go have a look. That's a little invasive of privacy. A case? I for some reason, I feel like we shouldn't open it. Yeah, I feel like, okay. So the nosy person within me would like to open it. But the, the good person who understands boundaries within me understands that I should not open it. I, I feel like we shouldn't. Like, this is his personal... Like, it's his boundaries. Okay, chat, chat. One in chat, if I should open it. Two in chat, if I should not open it. So one to open, two to not open. All of you... All of you guys putting one in chat? Hello? We are in too deep. You came all this way. Open up. But, but... His boundaries. Boundaries? I want the tea. <laughs> you already stalked him? Yeah, that's already bad enough. And there's no save point either where I can go back and change my mind. Boundaries are made to be broken. No! That's not how that works! What do you mean boundaries are meant to be broken? I mean, okay, fine. Yeah, you're right. I wonder what's in there. Here, let me open it. Is this a notebook? Is this a is this a bird? It looks like a kid's handwriting and some scribbled art. Have a look. All right, let's see. Mr. Luca. Hello. My heart. My name is Margie, and I'm from Old Tamerville, too. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been sick since I was a baby, but I still dream of becoming a big star in the cage one day. Just Bro. Guys, I'm scared. I want to team up with my friends and help everyone together so they can smile again. Oh, God. Children wanting people to smile is the ultimate death flag in Hoyoverse, bro. I'll listen to their thanks and then yell out my winning slogan. Oh, no. Oh, Again. and we made fun of him for saying it. Dude, wait, we were making fun of him for saying it too. Then I want to chase away all the bad things hurting everyone. Oh. I'll go with my friends and clear out all the scary monsters. I'll make the underworld safe and then yell out my other winning slogan. Oh, another one? The most terrible warrior. The peerless boulder champion. Defeater of evil throughout the world. Uh... Lastly, I want to make life better for the underworld. Mom said there's someone called Sparrow who keeps stopping us from going back to the overworld. 
Okay, kid, your your information's a little outdated. Uh, I think you need to update it a little bit. Sparrow's the good guy now. So I'm gonna challenge that big robot and show him what I can do as a champion fighter. Just saying. Fact check. But Sparrow is too strong. We'll never win. My friends are gonna all wanna back out when they hear about this. But I know I have to be an example for everyone. I need to stick my neck out and go challenge Sparog on my own. Bam! Crap! Boom! Bro, this is so sad. An epic fight, and then we'll reach a draw, and neither of us will be able to win. Do you guys hear the sad violin in the background? It disappeared the moment I pointed it out, but it was there. Anything can become reality if you try hard enough. I'm lying oh. in bed sick right Ooh. now. But as long as Mr. Luca is around, I won't be scared. I remember everything you said to encourage me. Oh. Before becoming a champion, I want to defeat this illness first. Oh, kid. Then I need to learn how to stand walk and exercise again until i achieve all my dreams i can't even stand bro i hope uh, no i believe mr luca will support me till the end right oh my god Oh my, wait, that's, oh my god, you can hear, like, the tears in her voice. <sighs> oh, Luca. I think I get it now. Um, can I talk to someone at Hoyoverse? Why are all your games depressing? Why did I have to experience two funerals in a video game back to back? In, in literally, like, like yesterday we played a funeral, and then today we played another funeral, and now you're telling me there's a dead orphan. I mean, she, she has a father, actually. She's not an orphan. A, a dead child. Maybe we should forget about all this. What do you say? I kind of want to talk to him about it. Um... Again, respecting his boundaries or talking to him about it. We can, we can provide him therapy. Sometimes you need an outlet to talk about your feelings so you feel better. I say as someone who conceals don't feel. <sighs> Me too. But maybe we should give him some time. Let's head back to town for today. Aww. Good night, Margie. Oh, oh, Margie. Good night, Margie. You were strong, soldier. Could we get some Fs in chat for Margie? Let's That's it. it. Hmm. That achievement was foul that achievement only ashes remain that achievement no no that achievement was dirty <laughs> that was dirty bro <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean only ashes remain Rip Bozo plus ratio plus died off screen plus lost to an illness plus thought she could be Sparrog plus skill issue plus cringe. Damn. 
Now, if the kid's name was Rosalie, that would have hurt a little bit, uh, you know, more. Oh my god, that was... That was sad. I thought... It, the quest was so funny. And, and, until it wasn't. I don't get it. It was... It was, it was so happy. You guys. It was... What is this? It was... It was so happy, and then and then and then it stopped being happy. What do you? What? Like, what? <laughs> can I? Can I push my? What happened to my funny game? What? what, what okay. 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 Did I literally just say? Because I was complaining about this with Honkai Impact yesterday, how the game gets you because like the first like few chapters are really happy, and then it just slaps you with depression, and the depression never ends. And um, I was like, well, Star Rail's like you know pretty happy right now. Because, like, you know, end of Bellabog. Yeah, Kokolia dies. But only Bronya is really sad about that. And, like, everyone else, is, it's, it ends on a pretty happy note aside from that. And then, um, Lofu is just kind of sad. Although, I do think Lofu as a whole has some narrative issues. But, you know. I still don't think Tingyan's dead. That's not just Copium. Um, I, I, I think it'd be kind of lazy on the writer's part to just have her death be that quick like yes we did get a like a chapter or a um a patch of her being um like mourning her but i don't think this is gonna be the last that we've seen of her especially since we never learned anything about like motivations what happened to the real one like i don't know i just think it'd be really lazy writing if they didn't go a little bit more in depth about why or what happened like with himiko's death in impact they built it up very well the flags were there and we also had an additional, like, 20 chapters of them dealing with the repercussions of that and how, like, her death affected each character emotionally. And, like, that's why it hurts more. It wasn't the death that hurt. It was how everyone reacted to the death that makes it hurt so much. But, like, with Tingen, it was just so quick. And I just, it makes me feel like there, she's going to come back. And I do want her to come back as evil. I think it'd be really fun I don't know. I just think it'd be fun if she was actually evil. They sent it over a puppet and then like we see her and we fight like um Fantilia again and like Ting Yen like walks out and it's the real her and she's still evil. I think that'd be really fun. They should do that. <laughs> but yeah. I thought Ting Yen to four star probably why they didn't do a big thing out of it. I don't think that matters. Um the four stars in this game get insane story. Like, Yukong's a four-star, and her, like, companion quest was, like, two hours long and super emotional. Sir Val's a four-star. Her companion quest is arguably, like, my favorite. I think, like, it was so, like, emotionally driven. And, like, the voice acting for it was, like, insane as well, where you could hear, like, the desperation and, like, just the, the overall tiredness in her voice as well. I don't know. I think the four stars get a lot of good treatment in this game. Like, there's not a huge distinction between the four and five stars when it comes to story stuff. Like, they all pretty much get, like, their, their time to shine. Like, I'd argue Bellabog focuses a lot more on the four stars than it does on the five stars. But yeah, no, Lucas was fantastic. That was a really good one. I'm very excited for March 7th. I want to know more about her past, so I am excited about that. I, you guys, I'm telling you, imagine this. Imagine this. Fushuen looks into March's past. Are you ready? Are you ready? She's a villain. She's the bad guy. Or she's a child or like a daughter or like a fragment of Alicia, which I think is more is more believable. But I think it'd be more fun if she was evil. And then like and like and then she lost her memories. And then she was really cute once she lost her memories. And then and then and then and then she has to battle with the two wolves inside of her because inside every person there are two wolves. She is Primo Gems. She is the sadness of people all over the world losing their 50-50s. Is it March in Honkai 3rd? No, she is not. Unless she is an XP of Alicia, which has not been confirmed. Um, she is not in uh, Honkai Impact. Why do you want everyone to be evil? What's wrong with you? I'm just saying it'd be fun. Every single character being morally good is kind of boring. I want to see morally gray characters. I want to see characters that aren't necessarily like goody two shoes. I want to see people who are bad and not immediately killed off for being bad. I still like guys. I miss Kokolia. I miss her. I miss her. I think she was a very deep and intricate villain. And I wish we got to see a little bit more of her. 
We should break Jeff. What what's wrong with you? Kafka, Blade, Silver Wolf are evil. They're not evil. They're morally gray. We don't know where they lie on the um, good or evil scale. But we don't know what their overall agenda is or like each one of their motivations. So just putting people into categories of good and evil isn't necessarily like good. Like you want to broaden your mind a little bit and at least think things through different perspectives. Where, yes... Like, let's say, like, Kafka has done things that are bad. She's probably killed multiple people, but she's doing it for, like, the sake of good. And so, like, or at least what she believes is good. And so, like, it, it, it brings into question is do the, like, um, does the ends justify the means? And I think that's kind of, like, what this game is going to go for. The next planet's about IPC, so maybe all of them are evil. Bro, they're the IRS. Of course they're evil. You're telling me they made a whole IRS faction in this video game and they don't represent the devil? As someone who hates the IRS, I pay my taxes, but they still screw me over every year. I hate the IRS. <laughs> what about Topaz? She's hot. So Topaz is evil? If she audits me, she is. They're the corporate overlords, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, th I think it's just good to kind of broaden your mind a bit. Just because a character is perceived as evil, like, it doesn't change their motivations. Everyone's a hero of their own story. Don't just automatically write someone off as bad just because that's how you perceive them. Like, you never know. I think it's, it'd be fun to expand, especially these aren't real characters. Like, they're not real people. It's fun to explore topics that make you uncomfortable in real life. So just just keep, keep an open mind about that and uh, enjoy the game. Enjoy the game and, and you know, just, just, yo, just live your best life. Oh yeah, and let me show you what I meant when I said why I changed my name to Baby Girl. Where's Kafka? This is why. This is why I changed my name to Baby Girl. Um, hi, Baby Girl. Then I'm like, it's you, and she's like, yep, it's me. You guess straight away. How's life on the Express so far? And I was like, I kind of miss you. And then she's like, oh, really? And I was like, really? You don't believe me? And she's like, I do. I know you can't see me, but I'm actually really happy. Like, why are they flirting? Like, I'm like, guys, I'm red right now. I'm I'm red right now. Does it update if you change your name again? I have no idea. I changed my name in the very beginning. Oh, my God. Okay, baby girl. Oh, oh she gets me. Oh, she gets me. Oh. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Um, we're gonna end it there for tonight. We went a lot longer than I was expecting. I was only expecting to do a three hour stream and then it turned into a almost five hour stream. So you know how you know how it goes. Um Saturday. We're going to be playing the last chapter of Danganronpa. So that's crazy. That's insane. Um, the last chapter of the last game of Danganronpa. We're finishing Danganronpa as a series, you guys. That's kind of crazy. It's been a wild ride. Um, we're probably going to finish Act 2 of Genshin at some point next week, maybe. Um, what else is there? I need to do Danny's quest as well for this game and the new event. So we'll also figure out a time to do that next week as well. End of an era. Yes. And then we'll start Baldur's Gate. Saturday's our variety day. So we'll do Baldur's Gate. Uh, starting probably on my birthday. So on the 15th, we'll do, we'll do Baldur's Gate during the subathon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for, for being here. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for those who rated as well. Oh my god, you guys are going to see me be a menace in Baldur's Gate. And by be a menace, I mean do everything for Shadowheart because I would die for her. And I'm going to have to make the same exact character I have right now because she can't cheat on me. Like, I just can't. Even if it's an alternate version of me, she can't cheat on me. Like, she is with... Like, his name is Mino because he's just the male version of me. So his name is Mino. And 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 they're together. They're happy. They're in love. Um, they, 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 They're, they're going to get married. And... And I just, I can't, I can't even create a new, like, character because I'm, like, she's with him and, like, I can't have her cheat. So, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to create, like, I'm just gonna have to create him again and give him a new class or something. 
Look at, no, but I don't self answer. He doesn't actually look like me. He's a very beefy, tall man, and 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 he, and they're in love. Okay, they're in love. I love them. They're so sweet. I gave them matching outfits because I have I have issues. But let's find someone to raid. Let's see who's playing uh, Star Rail right now. I am tall, not that beefy though, but I am tall. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Thank you guys for the stream. I always appreciate it. Like for reals. No stream tomorrow. I'm getting hot pot and gonna be doing IRL stuff. So your girlie is gonna go touch some grass to recharge. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Let's raid. Uh, we'll read this person. All right, you guys, you know the rules, and so do I. Okay, wait, did they just get offline? Well, they just ended stream. Never mind. Never mind, you guys. Love it when they do that. Uh, he he just ended stream, so I guess we are in fact not raiding uh, that person. So instead, we will raid this person. They dodged the bull. Hey, you saying that is insulting yourself. But you guys know the rules. Be kind, be polite, be respectful. You are a direct reflection of me and someone else's community. So please treat them with kindness and respect. Um, What else am I going to say? Uh, join the Discord if you're not already in it. Uh, go follow on YouTube if you want to see awesome YouTube content. That's just edited down versions of this content. And sometimes some uh, other cool stuff uh, that comes out that I don't record on stream. But... Thank you guys so much for, for being here, experiencing 1.3 and Luca's quest with me. I, I really do. I really do appreciate all of you, even if you are little shits to me sometimes. Um, but, 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 but I'll see you guys on Saturday to finish off the Danganronpa series. And yeah, then we have a whole week of streams ahead of us. Um, I am missing a stream next week. I'll let you guys know closer to the date. Uh, I have to go to a wedding for my friend. So uh, that's, you know, just IRL stuff. But love you all. A little pair of social me oh yeah send me a letter for my birthday um it's september it's officially september which means it's officially two weeks away from my birthday and if you want me to open a letter on stream please send it to my po box i'd really appreciate that i think that'd be pretty pretty freaking poggers to uh to get some 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 handwritten letters i won't make fun of your handwriting unless it's really bad then i will make fun of it i sent you a normal letter just a little large okay buddy but yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah. You guys can try to make me cry. I've yet to cry on stream. So it's been two years. I don't know if you guys will be able to make me. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one before this one yeets me out. Uh, be kind, be polite, and be respectful. Goodbye, gamers. Good night.